Rupert Merriweather. Rupert is a professor of anthropology with Miskatonic University in Arkham, and he's kind of elderly at this point. The campaign's set in the 1920s. He's in his late 60s, and you received a message from him asking if you would please come and visit him at St. Mary's Teaching Hospital in Arkham. He asked you to come at 1 o'clock on Thursday afternoon. Uh, it's currently January of 1921, as point of reference. And you haven't seen Professor Merriweather in quite some time, but uh, the fact that he asked you to come so abruptly is kind of surprising to you when you've been out of touch. And you're concerned, especially when he asks you to meet him at a hospital, that perhaps he isn't doing well and that this must be a matter of some import if he wants to talk to you so suddenly and under those conditions. So you all decide to accept the summons and make your way to the hospital. Uh, a nurse down at receiving points you up to the third floor, which is a critical care unit where he's being cared for, and you see several people whom you've never previously met, standing just outside the room to which you were directed. Uh, one of the people you see is a uh, African American man in his probably early 40s. He's wearing a hat, dressed in a nice suit, and carrying a pipe. He introduces himself. I'm Jackson, and you are? Father Cecil Sullivan. Pleasure to meet you, Father. You here to talk to the professor too? I am. Who are you? My name is Declan Steele. I'm here with the father. Ah, you two know each other. Okay. Very good. Are you part of the nursing staff? I'm not a nurse. I'm a doctor. I am uh, Margaret Merriweather. I am his granddaughter. Oh, then you probably know what's going on. What's this all about? I actually don't. I haven't spoken with him in a while, and uh, even uh, his, even Mrs. Merriweather, his wife, I haven't spoken to her in a few weeks. Oh, it's a sudden turn then. Must be. Samus. That was the nicest you had. Your outfit. It's hard to find clothes in a garbage can. <laughs> ah, well. Nice of you to clean up then. And Mustafa. Mustafa Ali. Nice I'm to meet you, Mustafa. I'm a former student of the professor's. Ah, I wish I could have been one of his students. It was, uh, I hear my interactions, in my interactions with him, he always seemed to be a very knowledgeable man. I wish, I always enjoyed picking his brain any time I was working on a project. He was a wonderful teacher and an even better mentor. Ah, I... From what little I, from the times I've interacted with him, I've come to the same conclusion. Are you in his field? Uh, roughly. Um, I <coughs> just got here from overseas, but I'm anxious to find out how he's doing. As am I. As am I. Well, shall we knock? Yep. Yeah. There's a knock on the door. Uh, a woman he recognizes, Agnes. Uh, answers the door and says, Oh, are you here for to meet with Rupert? Please, please, come in. And she steps out and she gestures for a young man to exit with her. I'd say young, he's probably in his 30s, kind of heavy set, uh, and looks very much like Professor Mer like a younger version of Professor Merriweather. This is her son, her son Bertrand. Two of them exit the room and she says, it's so good of you to come so quickly. We appreciate it so much. I know it means the world to the professor. Uh, try not to get him too agitated, though. He's, this latest round of medicine has not gone well. And the two of them, but we'll leave you to your privacy. The two of them step out of the room. Uh, Rupert is bedridden. He looks very sallow. Uh, he, his skin is just kind of hanging off of his face. The last time you saw him, he was always a energetic and enthusiastic person. Now he looks like a shadow of himself. Uh, but in spite of that, he says, ah, 
Come in, come in. Gestures for all. all. All six of you made it. Good, good. I very much appreciate that. It's... I'm not sure how much time I have left, and I, I don't know that I can afford to go through this more than once. Uh, he does have a private room in the hospital, so there's no one else in earshot. Uh, and he... Would you please close the door? I, I don't want... I, I want to keep this private. Greetings, what? Professor. What in the world is going on, Professor? Uh, well, Father, I fear I don't have much time left. And I have a matter that I need to see resolved before I go or soon after I pass. You're looking for absolution. <sighs> Father, I know you think you can grant that, but I have concerns that are more practical than just that. You see, this is <coughs> a, a bit of a long story, and I don't know, well, I don't know how much I can tell you right now that I haven't had the energy to depart, but make sure you take this box. And he points to a box setting on the end table there. It's a metal box. It's about that big. It looks kind of like something you might shove under a bed, a security-type box, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Make sure you take that with you. It it will explain probably <coughs> better than I can. Uh, anyone have medicine? Yeah. With medicine, you, judging by his You're condition nurse, right? and complexion and everything, <laughs> uh, you immediately recognize. You. you immediately recognize that he has late stage liver cancer. Uh, you figure he has days to live on the outside. Grandfather, I haven't heard from you or Angus in, in weeks. You couldn't have informed me that you're in stage four of liver cancer? Uh, sweetheart, I things have been dire. I have had I've had to assemble this package. I, sh I assure you, this is more important than anything else. Even you. But not your health. Oh, my health is what makes this so contingent. You see, when I was a young man, a mere student in college, a few of my friends and I became involved in uh, what we thought was simply an innocent exploration of alternative beliefs. One of the graduate students was a man by the name of Marion Allen. The six of us got together and we bought an old farmhouse. It was a few miles outside of Arkham, in an area, a small village called Ross's Corners. We thought we could conduct our experiments there with, with some degree of privacy. I know this all sounds absurd to you now, but we were young, we had some money, it seemed like a good idea at the time. But our research took strange turns. I know it sounds crazy, but we think we summoned something, a dark force, an unholy spirit. It, we sought to get rid of it, but, but we failed. So we simply abandoned the house. And it has sat there abandoned for more than 30 years. We were sure that as long as it was vacant, whatever we did to it would stay there. But, but Marion thought that if we all died, the spirit might escape. And you see, I'm the last one left. I fear that if I die, <coughs> he coughs and spits up a big gout of blood stains the sheets in front of him. Oh, I cannot go there and banish it, but this will tell you what to do. Take it, take it. Everything I can offer you is, is there. No. And he starts, he's just completely racked by coughing at this time, and spits up more blood all over the sheets. Grandfather. At, at that point, Agnes opens the door and, comes and sees the conditions he's in and rushes to her side. Is it possible 
during this time that you got this house and was doing these experiments, you were on opioids and other types of... You're clear he's on them now? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I'm sure I see the tiny bottles yeah. going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we have... <laughs> we had our own interests. And then he kind of collapses. and do all the doctor things that you're supposed to do. <laughs> you see someone uh, collapse. Sure. Uh, he has, his pulse is very thready. Okay. Um, and Agnes starts weeping very loudly. Okay. And a couple of other physicians okay. and a nurse okay. come okay. rushing yeah, in. Okay. Uh, and they kind of, uh, the nurse looks at the six of you, including Jackson. And you need to leave now. Just, it's just a time for the family. One moment, please. Yes, ma'am. I said blessing on the room. Absolutely. And uh, I'll grab the box. Okay. I will say a prayer also. In. Um, I don't know what religion Muhammad <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> um, in, like a Muslim prayer okay. for the awesome for the day. Okay. Very I good. roll my eyes at all the religion and go and talk to um, Agnes to see if she can she's more. She's breaking down with, right okay. now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and, and the yeah. son. Your uncle Bertrand? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is he there too? He's there. Is he's he kind of standing by the bedside. He's kind of withdrawn okay. and he looks he looks angry. Yeah. Uh, you remember Bertrand has a temper. Okay. So best not to we'll kill him first. <laughs> <laughs> best best not to engage then. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll just like nod okay. at Rupert and squeeze his shoulder. Yeah, kind gotcha. of like whisper in my my, my <laughs> condolences, you know. Sure. You know, and then sort of step outside. This is more of a family <laughs> matter. Yeah. You know? uh, do you remember him being this bad? Samus? Mm -hmm. you do you remember him being this bad? <laughs> I haven't seen well, I don't know. Years. I think uh, you're you're the granddaughter, right? Yeah, I am. Well, maybe we have access to his uh, study or his... wherever he taught at, his office. or. We should see what's in the box first. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about opening up strange boxes. I'll leave that up to you. Do that. Yes, we should find somewhere a little more private, the, private. the hallway. So Personally, there's I don't understand all the hullabaloo. There's always the office gourd. I agree. I, I don't doubt uh, that he did odd things when he was a child, but who hasn't? And for us to just say, oh, we're going to a house. Generally, a odd. summoning a demon is something that, you know, kind of have to be sure about, so. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to agree. If it'll give the man peace. I yeah. agree if with If it'll you. give the man peace. We should have, we'll take a look through the box, we'll see what we find, and then we can... Yeah, he's not a one... It's not his concern anymore, after all. <laughs> he's not one given to flights of fancy. Fair well, enough. Now he is are we on in Arkham? Opiates. Hmm? Are well, we in Arkham you are now? in Arkham. Okay. Arkham, Massachusetts. Arkham. Not far from Boston. I want to go to the medical desk and see if I can pull his records. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you are. You have no problem yeah. reaching them. Pull out. Take a look. Uh, flipping through charts, mm -hmm. you see he was actually diagnosed with cancer two years ago. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and just chose not to share it. Yeah. Okay. Figures. Perhaps demons contain asbestos. Maybe. <laughs> So he's been sick. Are you an Armenian lot? I share that information. Hmm? Are you an group. Armenian lot? Egyptian. Ah. And I share that information with the group. He's had cancer for, he's been diagnosed with cancer for, for two years prior to his hospitalization now. And he's been back and forth in the hospital getting care. Perhaps he did not want to worry you. Not of curiosity, how much did they really know about cancer in the 20s? Not. As much as he's, yeah. he's got consumption. Exactly. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, not, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. well, they well, they, they could tell yeah. that he has a a tumor, right? Obviously, yeah. Yeah. so. Mm. Sorry, just Where do you guys want to? I'll hand the records back. I don't need them. Sure. Do you want to just head to? Uh, I don't have a. I'm not from out of town. I have a small apartment. Or uh, well, I suggested you know the office of study or whatever. I think that's a good idea. 
I mean, I was his helper, so I would know sure. where it's located. You absolutely know where his office is, and you can head there. You probably even know where he keeps the spare key hidden. That's a good point to start, though. I'm Father Cecil Sullivan. You, you can call me Father Sully if you wish. Sorry, Irish accent, I'll butcher it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> how, how do you know the professor? I did odd jobs for him. How, here is how odd, Samus? Well, more odd than even. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew him through uh, my help with the vets and, and their shell shock. He was writing a thesis on on uh, how the cowardice is going to be socially changed by modern war. It's fascinating. That's very fascinating. <laughs> that would help me in my studies at, at, the, at my asylum. Mm. I'd like to know more about that later when we can talk. Loved, I have plenty of patients that I would love to send to good doctors. Really? <laughs> Even if some of them might not want a lassie, but we can get past that. I've been consulting with him on several books that I've worked on. He's been very useful as an anthropological contact when doing work and research on various death cults. My name is Declan. Um, my father and him are the ones that had the actual relationship. He helped finance his research. Oh, very good. But I a childhood friend, I suppose. Always been there when I needed him. Is your father financing any more research? My father's passed. Ah. But, uh, My sympathies. Thank you. Well, then, you, would you care to lead the way to the office, Sims? Okay. It's probably about a less than a mile walk, about, 10, about 15 minutes or so. You're able to get over to the office fairly quickly, pop open the door. It's a Thursday afternoon, so there are secretaries and other researchers in their offices as well, but you're recognizable and all of you are dressed appropriately, <laughs> so you have no problem just blending in in a university environment. Uh, so who's opening the box? We had a volunteer. I all suppose right. I'll open the box. So you open the box. Oh, <laughs> 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 And the first thing you find on the top is a letter. Right. Beneath the letter, as, as you're reading, keep reading, but beneath the letter there is an envelope which says deed on it, and you can feel there's a key inside of it. Uh, there is a box about that big, it's golden, it's shaped like a sarcophagus, and it has Egyptian hieroglyphics on the outside. Does anyone have the history or anthropology skill? I have history. I have anthropology, and I have ancient Egyptian as a language. I'm, I'll hand that. All right. <laughs> um, <just> assume, they, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know.
when was that? The Middle Kingdom? It was in between the early and the late kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Approximately 2,000 years ago. Mm. Well, like four or five. Yeah. I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really know these people, so I'm not going to tell them. Right. Okay. Anything, really? Well, I mean, also, I am a uh, in dealer, so I'm not going to... A drug dealer? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, in, uh, antiques. <laughs> I passed the letter around. Where are we? Um, sure. You know, after I'm, as I'm going through yeah. all the stuff in this box, I'm handing out the stuff. You know. um, does it look like this sarcophagus has been opened up? Uh, it does. The seal is broken. The seal is broken. Um, that is what's written in the hieroglyphs on the outside of the box. So I have a quick question. Yes. If I've been sent to the library to fetch books and stuff for mm -hmm. him, what books has he been checking out lately? Uh, mostly he's been just getting journals, collection, compilations of journals of different anthropological research. Mm -hmm. But nothing related to Egypt? Not that he explicitly <laughs> did, no. Not that you noticed. How's that? Well, obviously, I don't read Egyptian, but I could see little pictures. Yes. Squigglies. Yeah. Some of it might have been in Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? I know nothing. Very good. Me I neither. will, uh, if it is according to your wishes, I will open the box. I did open the box already. The sarcophagus. No, that was just the outside oh. of this, the, the sarcophagus that was inside. You mean the weird trinket that he found and now... It does not appear to be cursed, if that's <laughs> what you're worried about. No. <laughs> We're currently sitting in just the office. Just assume he was yes. mad uh, or he's going probably mad. Has, there's, so there's a desk. Why would you assume that? Because shelves. he's sick okay. and then there's in a table his there. Letter. Lots Margaret of chairs around, probably four chairs mother. around the table uh, and then one more at the desk. Doctor? So probably one person standing. Thank you so much. You can um, call me Margaret. Yes. As you're looking through it. Well, his letter yeah. is, it's just, it's clearly the writings of someone that's I under. I have not read it well, yet, You'll read it, but <laughs> you'll get there. I mean, it's clearly a letter written by someone who's on massive amounts of medication to help resolve pain. It doesn't make any sense. It's not dated, unfortunately. Uh, How well is the handwriting on it? Pretty good now, or, you know? Like it's fairly strong, I, actually. Okay, okay. Uh, you don't think he would have written this in his current condition? Okay. You think this was probably written uh, as a physician? You think it was probably more than a month ago that he would have been able to write that, clearly. So you would guess that he had been not, he not had not under, been as heavily medicated okay, right, at least. right, right, right. So is there, I'll look in the deed envelope, is there an actual deed to the property? There is a deed to the property. It so does list it. So we have to go to like City Hall type Hall of Records or something to find yeah. out where that is? Uh, it's got an address, a plot listed to it. Um, and I believe I mentioned it was in something's <laughs> corners. Ross's corners. Corner. Yes, Ross. Ross's corners, mm -hmm. and you, you all have heard of it. It's about an hour outside of Arkham. Have I ever seen it? Have, uh, you have no idea he owned this property. You would think this would be the kind of thing that he would mention. Yeah, he owned a farm, but uh, okay. no, apparently he did not see fit to share that fact with you previously. Yeah, the deed to my house doesn't even have a date on it. <laughs> I'd like to know when it was built. I know because of the building on the corner of my street, has got a cornerstone on it. But, yeah. you know, you're thinking. Sure. And there is a key, presumably, to the front door in the envelope as well. And the deed uh, is actually notated on there with all six of your names on it. Okay. Say that again. The, the deed that's in the envelope oh, okay. has all six of your names on it. So he did this fairly recently. Put our names on the deed, gave us a stomp. It's our house now. Yeah. Does this mean we owe taxes? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there, check it out. Give the man peace. 
See they, if we can sell it at least. I'm sure, there's better the uses for the money than probably his funeral. Fair enough. So it has seven names on it. Six. Not seven. So your character, your plane, Jackson, doesn't have his name on it. His name's on it. Two, four, Plus yeah. Brock's six. character. Uh, he's not in on this. <laughs> okay. Does anything look um, like maybe like having never really seen his office before? Mm -hmm. uh, is this a very well organized office? It is very meticulously organized. You are actually impressed by how meticulously organized and it. His desktop is completely clean. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's striking how well organized and neat this is. Clearly, he was a person where everything had its place. Okay. Uh, that seems consistent with somebody who would have a panic box planned out months ahead before in the event of his death. Mm -hmm. Is there any, like, uh, I'm looking for, is there any books maybe not in the bookshelf? Just to see if maybe there's something missing or sure. anything out of the ordinary like that. Um, do you want to spend a point of uh, evidence collection? Sure. All right. Uh, so go ahead and just note that you, you don't have to roll. Just okay. note that you spent a point, and mm -hmm. in searching around, you do find that there is one shelf where there appear to be two books missing, and they do look like, based on the books that are around there, that this would have been where he kept uh, any books on Egyptology. Samus, you know this. Prof you know uh, your friend and colleague's office very well. Mm -hmm. Do you know what two books may have been here? Did I return those to the library? Uh, you, yeah. You actually know that the two books that normally resided there were a couple of books on Egyptology, and. He had loaned them out to Professor Armitage at the library. Professor Armitage is the head librarian. He manages the library for our So university. he would know me too? Yes. Has Professor Ar Armitage been at the university? He's, he's been there a long time. Right? He has been there as long as there has been a Miskatonic year. Okay. Because I was a student there, so he would. Yes, you would definitely be familiar with him. He is, uh, let's diplomatically say, eccentric. Mm -hmm. uh, less diplomatically, the psychologist might say he's stark raving bonkers. <laughs> and this time we would use those words. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not in 20, 21st century. No. <laughs> um, why did we agree not to open the sarcophagus right now? Uh, no one agreed that. Oh. Yeah. No one just summoned up the gumption to do it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, are, are you I was going to do it, but we got a, a little sidetracked here. Sure. There's um, a lot of reading material going around. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of reading material going I'm around. I'm like, still, yeah, I got this in my hand. I'm asking 18 questions. Like, I'm going to um, gonna open up the sarcophagus. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like this. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I thought you would like, open it up and show it to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> that would be more funny. The uh, yellow glow. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure if anybody knew how to open it, it would be you, considering you are a dealer in antiquities. <laughs> <laughs> it's very professional right. the way. You <laughs> 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 well, I, d I, I'm an electrician, and when I turn on breakers on a panel, <laughs> somebody <laughs> stays in there. You still do that, <laughs> even with a solid skill set. When there's <laughs> when there's nobody there, I just turn it on. But yeah. I always, you know, you got to put on a show. Electricity. Yeah, <laughs> this is not electricity can it. kill you, and you'll you'll be hurting the entire time. It. <laughs> so yeah, I, <laughs> I would do the same. <laughs> I will open up the sarcophagus. All right, you open up the sarcophagus, and it is empty. There's a tiny man in there. <laughs> <laughs> um. But you do notice there is some dust in the bottom of it, uh, and it's kind of yellow and almost translucent dust. And you also notice that inside the lid there are some carvings. Uh, since you're the first person to look at this, do you happen to have the occult skill? I do. Um, first thing I'm going to do is smell it. 
when I open it up. Is okay. it good stuff? <laughs> does, it, does it smell like anything like uh, like embalming fluid? It does not smell like embalming fluid. Or it smells musty and kind of old, but there is the faintest hint of uh, uh, some aromatic in there. Some kind of is it old spice? <laughs> Frankincense, <laughs> myrrh. It's five thousand year thinking. old flu. Like you just got. Uh, more, more along the lines of some kind of incense. You get okay. a faint incense type aroma. Uh, but as you open it up, you also notice that there are some carvings on the inside of the lid of the sarcophagus. And you don't recognize them as being handwriting in any characters or language that you know, but they look vaguely familiar to you. They look kind of like the writing that's believed to be associated with the ancient lost city of Mu, M-U. Divernus Mysteris. No Latin, but the snake. Uh, if you know Latin, you know that it's the mysteries of the worm. The mysteries of the worm. Oh, I know Latin. Yep. I was trying to do two things. Mysteries. Mysteries. The writing on the inside is not Egyptian. I think it might be. I was trying to box. Uh, I picked it up somewhere. It is from Egypt. It's from Egypt, but the writing's not from Egypt. On the outside, it is. On the inside, it is not. Hmm. So couldn't you get that at a vendor somewhere in Egypt? Someone trying to ship, sell you authentic trinkets and. Which is why the language wouldn't be right. Or I would have to examine it closer, but as someone who is approached daily with the greatest finds, I own a, I own a shop in Cairo. People try to sell me things mm -hmm. all the time. Uh, I do not believe that this is a trinket or a forgery, but I would have to examine it. There's, I have not seen uh, often symbols from another culture mixed with uh, Middle Kingdom symbols. That is rare. Well, you actually suspect that the carvings on the inside of the lid are much more recent. You don't think they were installed? They were done at the time the object was made. Uh, you're guessing the artifacts on the order of 35 to 4,000, 3,500 to 4,000 years old. Uh, you're guessing the carvings on the inside are probably less than 3,000 years old. Um, does the professor, I, I'm guessing, in his desk have a uh, magnifying glass? Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to Look for a magnifying glass. Sure. You find one without issue. Probably you find a drawer full of them without issue. I want a square one. You find a square one. Okay. <laughs> it's a golden hand. <laughs> <laughs> and a filigree. It's got a dagger in the hand. <laughs> the writings on the inside are more recent, but they are very old as well. This was not done by uh, a forger. This is not a forgery. Perhaps these these were from you, maybe. I would have to do some research. Can you I read it? I cannot read the writing on the inside. Can you read the outside? Yes. Well, what's it say? It is. Uh, it says, uh, uh, "Seeker of wisdom." It is addressed to a seeker of wisdom. Uh, a child of Thoth um, and bearing the spirit of Nair Lothotep. Who's that? 
That is a good question. Lyra Lothotep is many things to many different people. Sure. So, about that house. Yeah. We go there, we bless it, and then put it on the market. All right. Anything in that journal? Yeah, there's a lot. Certainly, uh, to really get everything in here, it takes some time to really go over thoroughly. But uh, some interesting stuff. We all should take a look at it. And I will start, start heading this out. Can you summarize it for us? Uh, no. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds like a lot of the stuff that he was talking about. Uh, buying the house. You know, 1981, or 1881, sorry. Um, doing some kind of a ritual. Seeing smoke and a spirit. I mean, it just sounds like some of that spiritualist nonsense. Yeah. But, uh... There's some interesting stuff in here, though, about some other people who may have been involved having a hard time determining if um, they are all alive, but uh, it looks like one of them had died. Is it the Marion fellow you're talking about? No, I don't think he died. It was a gentleman by the name of Robert Allen who died, and uh, sorry to say, it seems like uh, your grandfather as he looks at uh, Margaret, may have helped cover up his death. Really? Yeah. Well, Did he kill him? That's probably why he was so guilty. Hmm? Did he kill him? <sighs> that is hard to tell. If we believe what's in this journal, uh, a spirit killed him. Okay. Sure. But you said that uh, the sarcophagus smelled like incense? I do not believe it actually held a person. Perhaps it held a scroll, or... Um, Could it have been some of the very special incense? It's possible. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's this, these later entries, they... You said there was smoke, and then people started dying. Yeah, and uh, a gentleman by the name of Harold Copley may have sort of... Um, lost his mind after this event. Yeah, Maybe it was guilt. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. He's There's some unusual things here. Maybe hallucinations. Maybe what he thought he saw. Or may, maybe it was a way that his mind... I mean, you would know. Some people make up some pretty unusual stuff and, and they experience trauma. Well, you know, if they just hand over all that stuff to the police and let them deal with it. This was done 30 years ago, so... Oh. Well, this... Not not to be saying that there needs to be a, an end date to a murder, but, uh... He's about to die anyway. Will that well, really do any good? Maybe... You know, maybe you were right, Father. He is looking for absolution. And this is it. He wants somebody to know what really happened. Maybe pick apart the problems that he was seeing in his own head. We go there, we bless the house, we put it the market. Pay for his funeral. Hopefully, it'll be sold. But he's actually yeah. interested. There's a lot of stuff there, and I we should. I, I want to reread it <laughs> to get all the details. If I'm just saying, if I do not believe this myself, but if this tiny sarcophagus contained the spirit of Nair Lothotep, uh, that would be bad. No, know. The think doctor I believes that. Yeah, I've I known the doctor for a very long time, since I was a child. And he was not, uh, did not practice tomfoolery. Fair enough. I think the doctor's trying to uh, somehow make amends for something that happened in his past. He certainly believes that the house is a haunted house, and it very well could be haunted. It's haunted with the memories of what happened there to one of his friends. Young Dr. Merriweather might have some experience in That's crazy dis- displacement of guilt. Perhaps something happened and he blamed it on demons. And I that's think, what I mean, that believes. makes the most sense to me. He was always a very logical, very 
astute uh, person in, in life. I'm still not utterly convinced that this isn't some sort of racked guilt from, well, 60 years previous. <coughs> I'm going, um, I'm just going to scan the shelves to see if he's got any books about the uh, characters or the written language from you. I'm not familiar. Uh, he does not have anything from that. Uh, Mew isn't part of accepted science. It's more esoteric than that. Atlantis? Yes, more along those lines. It's like a city that exists in a different dimension. And consequently, it's not something that a respected professor of anthropology could have on his office bookshelf, even if he believed in such a thing. We could go visit Armitage and get those Egyptian books if you want. That's an option too. Before we go to the house on the haunted house on the hill, is that mm -hmm. what yeah, I mean, your choice, maybe to understand him a little more, to understand the research that he was doing. I think that's what he wants. Wants to know him a little more than he's telling us before he does. Or I could go to the library and then come to the house later. I'll bring food. Sounds like uh, a grand plan. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to understand what they were saying in the books anyway. So, I'm just kidding. I will go with you. <laughs> Splitting up seemed like a good idea. Uh, I'm a I wanted to go That's with him. Always a good idea. <laughs> I wanted to go to the house. <laughs> um, how far is... Um, This is Ross's corner. It's know. about an hour by car. Mm -hmm. Keeping in mind 1920s cars, 1920s streets. Wouldn't take anywhere near that long now. Well, so New England driving might take longer now, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's what uh, I say. It's kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> what time <laughs> is it about? Uh, well, you were meeting with the professor at 1 o'clock. So you weren't meeting with him for very long. You walked maybe. 20 minutes to get to his office, and you've been going through his stuff there for probably 15, 20 minutes. So it's, it's probably about 2.30 on a weekday. Look at the cab. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's reasonable for the doctor to have a car. Private investigator might own a car. Uh, Samus definitely would not own a car. <laughs> I don't know if... Uh, Muhammad would have one. Have a camel. <laughs> not, <laughs> not in our yeah, <laughs> Right. I don't no, I don't have so a camel. Okay. I'm just mm -hmm. I would be more comfortable on a horse. Hmm. I'd be more comfortable on a real car. We probably drove together. Yeah, sure. Possibly. Yeah. Um, I would do a. Do we want to go? I do not have a vehicle here. I do. I took the train. I don't either. Well, it's your grandfather's house. I mean, are you comfortable opening it up and. I'll take the stuff up to the library. It's 2.30, right? So it'll be dark in a, like an hour and a half. Library closes at 4? Oh, January, yeah. January. yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was like, no, it won't. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe we should, and I, I vote that uh, we, uh, no, we start go this in the morning. morning. Oh, why put off till tomorrow what we can take care of today? I agree. Let's just go. We got to have a few of my supplies. Give a blessing on the house. That's really all we have to do, right? Right. I mean, if you're all worried about it, we can bring a couple of flashlights with us. Uh, oh, okay. Those are white and nitrogen. Yeah. Yeah, we can always do the research later. Or like really a gas lantern. Yeah, I was going to say, what's those <laughs> like in 1921? There were flashlights. They're just they did have flashlights. They're big, 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 really big lanterns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very well, I think. Alright. You gonna let six people pile into <laughs> like, I don't know how like how big is my car? I'm gonna say it's one of those big old probably a model. I mean it's a it's nineteen twenty one. It's not yeah. like they have great vehicles yet. No, you're talking <laughs> You got a driver, a. passenger, and two people in yeah. the back. So I can take that's all right, seatbelts they three and three. look at that stuff yeah, back three. then. So. It's gonna be uncomfortable yeah. regardless. Yeah. But yeah. alright, so you yes. have two cars yeah. up there. Yeah. Two cars. Oh, good. Three you got and two three. cars, that's okay. Yeah, that worked out. 
Yeah, Mr. Jackson has to drive a front Follow door. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I'm wondering place, about that. Uh, uh, not in New England. Okay. <laughs> do, do we have a, a road map? Mm, a map? Uh, well, you've got a pretty good idea where He's from here, Ross's yeah. Corners are. Oh, okay. Are. Do you know where Ross's Corner is? I do, but I've never been there. Samus? Correct. But you guys know where to go. Mm. You're just not positive where to go once you get there to get to this house. Sure. Mm-hmm. That's why I suggested City Hall or the Hall of Records or whatever to get an exact location. Sure. Or just a policeman. Mm-hmm. So you guys, well, you head out to Ross's Corners. Yeah. And it um, is, yes. When someone opens the door, uh, my cat comes in the, in the office. Okay. Mm-hmm. And jumps on there. Awesome. <laughs> um, he's wearing a sweater. Cause it's <laughs> he's from Egypt, <laughs> and it's really fucking cold. Well, I'm allergic. Really Can <laughs> I give him fleas? <laughs> well, he does not have any hair, so you cannot be allergic. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Ross's Corners is the exact opposite of a sprawling necropolis. <laughs> okay. yeah. uh, you pull into the large town center. There is one building, which is a combination general store, post office, and gas station, all in one. Uh, there is also a milk depot across the street and a small Anglican church on the corner. <laughs> Uh, other than that, there are a few houses, all of them single story. You're guessing single room mm-hmm. around here. Um, so it's not exactly a cabin in the woods. No, <laughs> it's not, not quite a cabin in the woods, <laughs> okay. but uh, you've reached the small town. Where are you headed? To the house, I Yeah, guess. I mean, um, anybody out on the street? Uh, there's a couple of people standing out in front of the general store, Sounds and they kind of look at you guys <laughs> a little, little wary, especially yeah. when they see that there's a woman dressed in a suit, an Arabic man, and an African American man in the group. We're not suspicious at all. <laughs> in, in a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> He's the least suspicious. <laughs> Who, who, who asks? Who I'll, I'll am I in the car me. with? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Because you're driving. So I'll just, yeah. I'm driving. Excuse me, good sir. Whoever wants to be in the uh, car with Yes, me. Father. I'll go in the car with you. I happen to be looking for a farmhouse around here. Um, I give him the address. Cause I have no idea what it is. Uh, there isn't actually an address. It's just... Or uh, is it a name that's going to be It's a name, okay. yeah. Uh, and it is simply listed as the Myron house farmhouse um, do you have a uh, reassurance oh yeah all right well uh, what brings you to town I'm here for an errand and I'm just looking for the Meyer and farmhouse well you probably want to talk to Ma Peters to who? Ma Peters she's inside she runs the store here Give me a moment. We'll be right back. All right. You going in by yourself? All right. Split the party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I'm just going to ask where an address is, I'm sure. In my mind, I was like, hey, everybody, let's all go ask where the address is. You know? <laughs> I'm good. It's good. <laughs> uh, so you head inside. It's a woman minding the counter inside the store. Oh. Hello, Father. What can I do for you? I was told in front of a gentleman outside that you could tell me where the Myron house is. Oh, why are you looking for the Myron House? Uh, the church might be looking into acquiring it for some wayward soldiers. Really? That's interesting. No one's, uh, no one's been there in years. Which makes it a great value for the church to get. The amazing part is they kept paying the taxes on it. Hmm. Yes, it's hard to believe that someone would have just a property for law and all that, let it run down, and still keep paying the taxes. I would like to get a look at it. Can you direct me to the Oh, location? yes, of course, Father. Of course, I'm sorry. I'm s- everyone here is just off their game today. It's been a very odd day. R- regardless, uh, so you want to head down this, this road over here. She points out the window, one of the roads, until you see the lightning-struck tree. 
right past the lightning struck yeah. tree, there's going to be a little dirt trail off to the left. You want to go down that trail, it'll lead right to the house. I'll do with you, Matt. Right. And with you, Father. Thank you. Think nothing of it. All right, so I guess we're going down this street here, uh -huh. looking for a lightning tree or a struck tree or some kind. And then there'll be a little path. Take us right there. They're a bit dodgy in there. Okay. I kind of like, um, like wave out the window, you know, for sure. Margaret. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll walk up to her car and tell her to do that. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys head down the road a bit. Mm -hmm. It's only a couple of miles, and you do see a tree that clearly has been struck by lightning and shattered. And there's a little dirt road just past it. Mm -hmm. By this point, it is deep into dusk. Mm -hmm. uh, and you pull down the road, and a bit back down the road, this path is kind of overgrown. Mm -hmm. uh, you think that at some point, somebody may have graveled this driveway, but it was a long time ago. Uh, and after you travel through some trees to the point that you can no longer see that road that you turned off mm -hmm. of, uh, you do see the house. It looks like a salt box. So you can see that there's a cellar, a small house atop it, and a peak above it. You assume that there's probably an attic up above. Uh, you're guessing there's only one or two rooms in the house, the front door with a small porch. Reminds me of heaven. Okay. But this is not uh, opulent by any stretch. Yeah, get out of the car and I grab a, a, a duffel bag or something that's in the trunk. Sure. Who's got the key? Whoever had the deed. Well, I guess I got the envelope with the deed because I All looked right. at it. So sure. I I guess I will open the door. All right. So you head up to the front door. Can I see the journal, please? Uh, key opens the door right away. Uh, you're actually surprised at, based on the condition of it. Uh, it's all rusted out, the lock? Yeah, yeah, the lock does not look to have been well cared for, but the key turns right away, unlocks the door, pops open. Uh, the shine of flashlight is actually, it's still dusk. You can probably see inside well enough. Mm -hmm. um, there are a couple of windows on this front room. You can see inside that there is a table over to the side with three chairs around it. To the left, there is a wood-burning stove that vents out as a chimney out to the front of the house. There's an overstuffed chair and an overstuffed uh, sofa and a small coffee table between the two of them. Uh, the house kind of smells a little bit of rot and mildew, and you're pretty sure that smell is coming from that furniture right there, the couch and the chair, and you can see there's a doorway leading off to a second room beyond this, and also there's a flight of stairs leading down into what you can assume is the cellar, and you do see a trap door overhead uh, in the kitchen area, just what you, well, what you assume is the kitchen. It's the so next I'm room assuming everything's covered up. in dust? Uh, there is a fairly thick layer of dust on everything. Yes. So has any dust disturbed recently? Uh, not in this room. Okay. Actually, I take that back. Um, there is a little bit of a disturbance in the dust uh, between the next room through the doorway and towards the stairs leading to the basement. Okay. There's stairs leading upstairs too, right? Uh, there was not stairs leading up, okay. but there is a trap, trap door, door oh, right, that's in, the uh, in the kitchen area. Okay. You can see that. Gotcha. Uh, you'd have to walk through the doorway into the kitchen to get a better look at both the trap door and whatever else is in the kitchen. And there's probably no ladder. Uh, you do not see a ladder. Probably one drops down when you the trap down. door. Could mm -hmm. maybe. Well, the ceiling is well, uh, a little higher than eight yeah. foot in here. I think it's probably eight and a half, nine foot. Well, before it gets too dark, I'm going to try to see if I can start a fire. Because it's going to get dark soon. You're going to yeah. like the house on fire already. I'm going to burn this place down. <laughs> We did say we sanctified. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I thought you said that there was a small fire. Yeah. So there's a wood burning, burning stove to the yeah. left, and you can actually see there's a large cooking hearth in the kitchen okay. that you can you can see that mm -hmm. from the front. Yeah, and it's cold, so yeah, yeah okay. lighting yeah. fire is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, it's quite cold. 
Um, where are you gra grabbing wood from? I'll scrounge outside. All right. To see if there's just something I can grab to start us something small. Sure. Doctor Mary, right there. Mm -hmm. We got. We do have. Do you in have the, the outdoorsman skill? I do. Awesome. In the journal, so then, uh, you probably do too. It I mentioned do. that. Uh, uh, so both of you guys going outside yeah, to start sure. your All right. Go ahead and finish what you were saying, and then I will proceed. In the journal of one of the newspaper clippings, mentioned that Harold Copley might have been interred in a mental facility. Was he at uh, Arkham Asylum? Was he? You don't recognize the name, mm -hmm. but uh, if you looking through the book towards the back there's some dates there with some names by them and if you see that you're going to guess that that Harold Copley when he was uh, in the asylum was probably a little before Margaret's time okay. yeah, okay. yeah. Um, I'll pull out my Aspergill and sure do a little, you know, right. ask this to Absolutely. sanctify itself um, around the doorway. Okay, great. So you start blessing. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys do find uh, a porch swing that had the chains rotted out and the swing kind of collapsed over t in the woods a little mm -hmm. ways off of the house. Mm -hmm. uh, you think that that wood would be, it's partly rotten, but it should burn just yeah. fine. And that's going to be the easiest wood you can gather up yeah, perfect. for putting into that oven or stove, rather. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, you guys without any problem you're able to get a roaring fire going in the stove uh, and everybody who has uh, sense trouble I do I do I do, I right, do as so well. does my cat <laughs> 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 he's um, got he's got actually all 65 points interesting so you can drive anybody that would like to can make a sense trouble test as you're poking around in the living room uh, thing of note is you got to decide if you want to spend any points on this test and that has pluses actually a cat would have 64 points in that <laughs> one point would have to go into cup Cthulhu's mythos just oh, because okay <laughs> the add, add bonuses to it the adds roll. to the die roll any points you spend add to the die roll you have to decide about spending points before you make the die roll and this is the first actual roll of the yeah I, I won't spend any points. all right i'll, I'll spend a single one i'm okay. not i'm not even i'm not like anticipating any trouble all right good so i got a two all right you got a two i got a one you got a one right <laughs> all right um, we, these refresh before the next session. Right? They ref normally refresh normally. the start oh, we gotta, of the next session. we got to yeah. mark it off, or? You can, I, I and look, it's likely not going to be an issue. I'm going to spend a point. All right. So, four. All right. Margaret? I'm not spending any points. I'm, this place is chill. <laughs> <laughs> can you give me a roll? A roll Please. anyway? Yeah. Okay. Just a six, yeah. right? Yep. Two. All right. Uh, Bask is gonna make the roll. <laughs> oh, he got he got six. All right. So he's got a sixty-eight. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bask seems agitated. Hmm. He also put him in a car, dumped him off into a new cabin <laughs> with a bunch of strangers. Wait, right, we on, I honestly got off the boat this morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is anybody going into the back room? I'm going around the hole. Okay, so you're blessing around. Yeah. You guys got the fire started. You're reading the journal. Um, but you may have been doing that in the car, too. So what that's kind of what doing? I wanted to yeah. do. Is so the back room, when you say back room, that's not the kitchen? Or that's the kitchen. Okay, okay. Sure, sure. All right. Uh, do you have evidence collection? I do. All right. That's all I need to know is if you have it. Okay. Uh, so looking around back there, you're pretty sure somebody's been living in the kitchen because when you look around uh, you notice that in the back room there is the hearth doesn't have a fire in it mm -hmm. but there is an empty can of Campbell's pork and beans <laughs> laying on laying uh, right next to the hearth uh, there is a bindle that's unpacked on okay. the countertop All right. and there's a blanket laid down next to the hearth there's I'm good, thank you. There's also uh, fairly fresh ashes in the fireplace, okay. though it doesn't look like it's been burning recently. Okay. 
Uh, a yeah. bindle. So a bindle is oh, no, when you think of a hobo, <laughs> you think of them. They, they'll have oh, that, like, like a handkerchief thing, that's like tied, hang- carried on a oh, rope. Okay. That's called a bindle. Classic. Exactly. <laughs> Hence the name bindle stiff. Is what we would, a more polite name than hobo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna. Is, is it? It's opened or it's already been sort of. It's spread op- out. It's spread out, and you can see there's. Uh, a box of matches, a small oh, piece of soap, a tin cup, a screwdriver, a can opener, themselves. a pocket knife, a candle stub. Uh, you're, you're pretty sure that it's mm-hmm. an unpacked bindle. Okay. Okay. Um, and the dust on the floor up here has been disturbed quite a, a bit. And there is a trap print? door. Okay, the, right. But no footprints around the clear area coming. I mean, it's dusty, so the area was fairly dusty it, so I'm just looking there are for enough footprints coming around coming all here over that okay. you wouldn't be able, that it's not the dust is disturbed sure, right I sure, mean it's sure. like people that somebody or people have been walking right, through here enough right. that but no discerning of direction or right. anything like that okay it okay. looks like somebody's been moving back and forth around okay this area. Um, I'll go out to the main area where I assume most everyone is through the front door in the main room mm-hmm. and I let them know that this place is not abandoned somebody's been squatting here for quite some time, it looks like. I take a look in the room that she just came out of. Sure. Um, just to kind of assess. You pretty much notice everything I mentioned previously. The other thing you do notice is uh, you actually stick a finger in the can of pork and beans. Sure. And uh, it's still liquid. So oh. somebody's been in here it's relatively recently. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mentioned that too. Well, whoever's been here and has been here uh, hasn't hasn't been gone for long. He might be hiding up in the trap door when he heard us come in. Unless he rolled into the bank. We can cook the beans something. for dinner. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, are we s- staying here overnight? Seems like a bad idea. To stay here overnight? I don't know if there's any I inns have nearby. In real life, I have watched every episode of Scooby Doo. I know <laughs> that, that, that would be a bad. I've seen every horror <laughs> film ever made. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in the the letter. It said we actually have to stay. Here. Right, you didn't get that one right from House right. on Haunted Hill. You have to stay here for right. twenty four hours, and then you get a big uh, old right. check. Yeah. Uncle Shagworthy did not uh, <laughs> specify. <laughs> I know, but there was when we passed in through town. There was no places to stay. We said there was no. a general. No. Student, there was an there all was in one. To stay there. Which uh, is there's one other thing I want to mention. Yeah. As you guys are looking around mm-hmm. inside, uh, you can't help but notice that there are markings carved over every opening from this, from the rooms to the outside of the house, okay. uh, over every door lintel, over every window. Mm-hmm. Uh, and anyone with an occult skill? I have two points. Yeah, you immediately realize that these are warding symbols. What? Uh, something that would be designed specifically to keep spirits either inside the house or outside of the house. Uh, are they Egyptian or are they... Uh, based on your understanding of the occult, you actually think they might be something even older. Were those same symbols on the outside of the house going in? They were not. They were just on the inside. This very also, uh, by the back door, you notice there was a bar for oh. barring the back, oh, door, the back door right to the side of it. Uh, it's not in place. Mm. Okay. Unless some other has been here getting up to cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can't blame her for that. Did we go down to the basement yet? No one has gone down to the cellar yet. I want to go through. One, the two, door. three, not it. <laughs> I want to go through the door that was since it's not barred and it's coming from the kitchen, right? Yeah. I just want to check and see if there's a porch or if there's, you know, just open the door and just take a look at. It. A couple of steps down. Okay. That's it. That's it. All right. If there's a yard. I mean, it's you see, there's a barn out that way. Oh. Uh, you assume that uh, some area around here. Actually, you can see off to the side what you assume would have been a vegetable garden at okay. some point, but it's outhouse. 
yeah, the, the outhouse is out that way. You can see that. Nobody's mowed the lawn. No one has <laughs> mowed the lawn. It is January, so it's not growing real fast, but nobody's but mowed it in quite a long time. Like waist yes. high, it exactly is. But yes. the barn is part of this property, or does it look like it belongs to? It looks like it's part of this property because okay. okay. you don't see any other buildings okay. anywhere near here okay. other does than the outhouse. The I just kind of glanced through the journal. Seems like a lot of reading at the moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> does it mention anything of, of where this book I didn't. The no. De Ramis Mysterious could be like in there because it mentions it in this note, and I'm just wondering, like, does it give instructions in there or something? Um, Margaret, mm -hmm. can I have you? Not, I had a chance to read the whole thing. Yeah, Let's give me like a sense trouble. Sure. When you were looking out the door there. Okay. <laughs> One. All right. Good. <laughs> You didn't want to spend points on that, right? No, no. Everything seems fine to me. Yep. <laughs> We're all good here. How are you? <laughs> so I probably got around all the windows and doors. Sure. So I'll yeah. head to the basement and ask the basement. All right, so you head to the basement. Okay. Awesome. I asked someone to help me bar the door just because. So so well, how dark is it down? I'll take illumination <laughs> with me. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. It's dark. Sorry. Okay. So I'll <laughs> yeah. some fumble down company. some cricket sure. stairs. Yeah. All right. Well, have wow. Some sense. Okay. All right, so you head downstairs. They, uh... He wouldn't, he was probably, if he left yeah. when we pulled, he would not leave his No, his I think he's window. probably up to that. Or he's in the basement. Um, but I still want to lock the door, because then we'll Give hear me a it sense trouble as leave. you're heading down the steps, Father. I know you're focused Forest. on your uh, prayer, so I'm going to give you some minus one. I have a six. Yeah, so far. You and you didn't want to spend points on that, Well, you? you know, if somebody can't run away... I don't know what the target what target I'm not looking for. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you're heading downstairs. You're focused can, on your prayer. You're, you got the. Lot of you're, you're blessing everything around you. Yes, that's that's for Gillum. Yes, you're blessing everything around you. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, ooh, somebody clocks you in the head with a table leg. Oh, he went downstairs, uh, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, and you take four home. health damage. All right. Do we hear it? You hear a thud, oh. a kind of a meaty thud, oh, as Father stairs. goes downstairs. Like, like a trick. table leg hitting a coconut? Take, yeah. Did you uh, take the lantern with you when, you, when he went downstairs? I did the take the illumination. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And it's just like, no, no, no. He fell straight down the stairs. Uh, and you hear the sound of somebody running up the stairs very hurriedly. Okay. That's why we barred the door. <laughs> Sully. Uh, did that knock me out? Oh, no. No, it didn't it knock, knock you out. out. But it I'm hurt like hell. So I'm a little pissed now. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I will pursue who punched me in the face. Uh, <laughs> I didn't punch you in the or face. Hit he hit you in the head, head with, a yes. with a table leg. Yes, <laughs> he's going to regret that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and <laughs> you see <laughs> a uh, man in a, planch, in a flannel shirt, mm -hmm. worn jeans, mm -hmm. shock of bright red hair, comes rushing up the stairs, and shoot out the front door of the farmhouse and take Red off hair, running. That must be a demon. <laughs> <laughs> what you're talking about? <laughs> uh, I'll give chase. You give chase. All right. Um, give me an athletics roll. Or uh, yeah, athletics roll. <coughs> he's going to be rolling fleeing. Actually, he's going to be rolling athletics. Okay. He's going to spell. I have eight, so I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend four. Okay. Oh, Nine. you catch him. What are you doing? Nice you are job. caught up to him. Uh, well, I'm going to tackle him and All sort right. of put him in a grapple. Give me a scuffling roll. So this will be a scuffling versus scuffling. All right. I'm going to spend points. Yep, four points. All right. Nice. Six. Okay, you were attempting to get him into a hold, and mm -hmm. you very much do. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got him pin you dove in, you tackled him, you got him in an arm bar, and he is pinned to the ground, and he's saying, Uncle, Uncle! <laughs> Pounding the ground with his offhand. Okay, well, you calm down. Uh, okay, okay! <laughs> Alright, I kind of like pull him up off the ground. I still have him, you know, his lip, wrist locked. Yeah. You know, but I pick him up, you know, by his shirt collar and start heading him back towards the house. Okay. Okay, and at that point, um, is 
Are you walking up? Is Father Cecil still walking up? Yeah, well, I, I... With a bashed in hand. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm probably say, bleeding a little right, bit. Right, so I'm going to... Like, I'm going to yeah. yeah. take... I'm going to look at it and say, you know, Chase, you really got, you really got knocked hard, so... Father, let's take a look at that. I've had picture. worse, but... Yeah. Make sure that looks... Oof. Smart. You could, be, you could be concussed. Yeah, go ahead and give him a first aid. Okay. Tell me if you want to spend points. Yeah, I will. I'll spend... Uh, Two points on that. All right. I'll do it in a Oh, good. <laughs> Three. Three? <laughs> <laughs> Your dice are on fire. <laughs> Father, you get two points back. Yeah. Right. Uh, and you get him, walk him into the house. Mm -hmm. And just as you walk him into the house, this is really convenient. You walk him into the house, and it's just at that moment that we move out of dusk into nighttime. Mm -hmm. The sun goes down over the horizon, and as that happens, you hear a piercing ah! scream. Just this wailing shriek comes out of nowhere. <sighs> it, well, not out of nowhere. It comes out of the upper floors of the house, and you hear a loud whoosh. Whoosh yeah. as in wind, or whoosh as in Wh running? Whoosh as in wind. There's mm -hmm. more people up there. Is that one of your friends? Uh, I, I don't have any friends, and I just, I, look, I, I found the house yesterday, camped out here yesterday, overnight, I heard this crazy noise, that noise, did you just hear that noise, that wasn't just me, right, you heard that noise, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it was some kind of, some kind of a monster, I think, and it, it and yet you stayed here, <laughs> well, I heard it, I went out run. I heard the shriek and I took off running after I heard it. And some kind of monster was chasing me. And it chased me and I slept out under a tree last night. I have a sus honesty. He's, Same. He's, you're pretty sure he's telling the truth. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and, and then I, I came back to get my stuff. Hmm. And then just as I was getting ready to pack things back up, well, you folks showed up. But I wanted to get out of here before night came again because I don't want to hear that thing again. I don't know what that was. I heard, the, I heard that's that scream, and then I heard all kinds of screaming out in the woods later. Uh, I don't know what's going on. But then you came back to be in the basement. Well, I heard somebody come in, and I went to hide. Well, if that happened last <laughs> night, why did you stay That's the whole exactly next day? My point. It took me a while to break up the courage, break up the courage to come back into the house and get my stuff. Uh. What's your name, son? Uh, I'm Red. Red Jake. What's your name, Father? Call me Father Sutton. All right, Father. Pleasure to meet you. It'd be much more pleasurable if you didn't hit me in the head. Well, I, I thought you were com coming down to kill me, like like whatever that monster was. Did you see the monster? I think I did. How old is this kid? Um, I think he's probably about twenty-eight or so. Okay. Um, with based on uh, your history, Father. You're pretty sure that this guy bears all these signs of a shell shocked World War One vet. That's what's kind of guessing. <laughs> yeah, of so the age. Mm -hmm. What did the monster look like? Red. Right. Did you ever see a tornado? Look kind of like that, only a lot smaller. I'm not losing my grip on him. Take a seat. Okay. Where are you having him sit? The floor or the? I thought you said the there was kitchen. a chair in the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen, there's a table with three chairs around it in the living room. There's the overstuffed sofa and that the stinks, yeah, that yeah <laughs> and the armchair. And yeah. uh, there are not any chairs in the kitchen actually. Okay, I'll grab a chair from the from, from the, the dining table. room okay. table. Yeah, and bring it in. <clears throat> Where'd you serve, young man? Uh, served in France. What part? You don't want to hear about that, Father. I might have been there with you. Really? Mm -hmm. Fourth Brigade. Uh, it was two. You hungry? You might have a sandwich. Uh, I'd love a sandwich, Father. But what about that thing that was shrieking? Don't that know what that is. Didn't yet. sound like no nothing I ever heard before. It's it was an old just an owl. Yeah. It's yeah. an old house. Maybe an animal's trapped up there. Well, pardon you, but I ain't anxious to go see it. Let me just get my stuff together. I'm happy to go. I have a little notebook that I was 
uh, copying down the, the glyphs mm -hmm. above the doors and stuff. I'm going to write a note and I'm going to hand it to your Declan. Declan. Right? <laughs> Whoopsie. <Yeah. coughs> we should tie him up in case we need a human sacrifice to <laughs> ban banish the demon. But that's what you say out loud. <laughs> no, I write it down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think uh, my opinion of Mustafa's changed. <laughs> <laughs> then, I, then I look at you and wait. Like, oh, just, just kidding. It's a goof. It's a goof. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, any other noises coming from upstairs? Uh, not now. Just that shriek and the wind blow, and then... It sounded uh, like wind went outside. Oh. Like something... From whoosh, inside. From inside out. To the outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the poles and attic up Pressure there. Pressure drop. Yeah. 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 That must be it. It's yeah. a screech owl. It's trapped in a closet. Yeah. Could be. Or it could be dire loads of death. <laughs> sure. Let's, sure. Well, let's it's out. Go upstairs. Yeah, let's get a chair. You said it was eight feet, so mm -hmm. I know I can't climb eight feet. So we we'll need a chair to see if we can get the down, yeah. attic pulled down. Sure. It's uh, you can get a chair and push up. Uh, the door actually it opens up. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah. And you can glancing around. Well, she's wearing a, a suit. So you're not looking up her skirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's a dusty, dirty suit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, glancing around up in the attic, uh -huh. you can see that. Oh, can someone hand me a, <laughs> can a flashlight? Hand me a, yeah. A, what, yeah. A candle. Yeah. An archaic <laughs> flashlight. Uh, you can see that there are a lot of desiccated animal corpses oh, okay. up here. Uh, raccoons. Some. Birds, mm -hmm. large and small, mm -hmm. uh, fox, rabbits. Okay, that's a surprising odd. number of them <laughs> up here. Does Foxes it smell and that? rabbits up here. Uh, no, actually. That's interesting. All right, so I'm going to climb it is down. Winter. It oh, is winter. When I open, but it's oh. also there was no stairs that popped down when I opened that. There was no stairs. Oh, okay, so it was just some quick. Looking and then all right, holding you up or something. Yeah, yeah. and on, on the chair, and mm -hmm. that should get me to the. Okay, so I, you know, take the lantern, put it down, and mm -hmm. say there's just there's a lot of dead animals up there. Yeah, it's got to be an owl. But not just birds, like rabbits and things that wouldn't climb and get into an attic on its own. So it might have been dumped off by hawks or yeah. uh, something. Must be a hole in the roof or something. Oh, I didn't. Well, For the record, you didn't see. notice any yeah. holes in the roof on the outside. Okay, uh, I didn't see. But that'd be pretty. No, that'd be a big hole. <laughs> yeah, I didn't <laughs> see, see anything. But coming what about a chimney yeah. Yeah. coming up from there or anything like so that? So there's the chimney mm -hmm. uh, in the kitchen, right, right for but the hearth, right. and the uh, s stove so in the living room down. has a pipe, but that goes out the wall. Okay, so no, nothing direct channel or opening. Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. so I relay all mm -hmm. of that. Sure. Is there anything else in the basement? You know, we you didn't really take a lot of time <laughs> to look yeah. at the floor. <laughs> There's definitely <laughs> Other than a, a murderous a hobo. table leg. <laughs> <laughs> There's a table leg down there. A bloody table leg. Yes. yes. I, yeah, I didn't go down there, so I don't know. I mean, if I were going to summon a demon, it would be in the basement. Other than that's the traditional, traditional that place. I'm going to close the hatch to the attic. Okay. I personally wouldn't summon a demon at all. I, right. I said if. I. But not. So, head down to the basement. You see that now, but we're early in the stages of the campaign. That's true. Well, well actually, my cat and I are going to make a big giant sandwich and eat that <laughs> first, but then go down in the basement. Well, we got beans. Oh, that's true. Um, no, we'll go. We'll go right. All right, just you and your cat. Uh, Anyone else coming to the basement? I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm helping Margaret. I'll, I'll go down with them. All right. Down. Two well, eight. who's with Red? I guess I'll watch him. All right, Jackson will stay with you, keeping an eye on Red. I kind of pulled it to the side. Jackson. <laughs> the lad's probably got some shell shock. See how his I'm eyes there. just kind of stare at nothing. As you uh, maybe wander, like wander, as you ponder out loud, <laughs> <laughs> it would have come up. The thought bubble. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> A writer. Hmm. Pop anthropology. 
uh, so heading down to the basement, you look around, you find a couple of chairs that are in need of repair, but that match the ones that were at the table in the living room. Uh, you find there's some shelves that are stocked fairly well with basic supplies, uh, canned goods and things, but they're 40 to 50 years old. But looking through them, you also find, and this is important, a nice selection of quality liquors, also 40 to 50 years old. Mm. Uh, you find a box of tools. You find an eight foot ladder. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that would help. Of course, uh, it's only an eight Some foot lumber. Down, so. And you find a tarpaulin off to the side that's kind of piled mm. on top of something. Let's pull the tarpaulin. Pull the tarpaulin off. And beneath that, there is oh, a... Second. After we grab some of the liquor. Sure. And we pull the <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. I'll go, I'll go in the bag. Uh, you find a trunk. It looks kind of expensive. Uh, like, like a steamer trunk? That's a steamer trunk, but kind of a high-end one. Uh, something not just that you know, your grandparents would bring across the ocean, but something that uh, somebody with a lot of money might have had as one of many trunks. That they would take across the ocean. Is it locked? Uh, no, it is not. I open it up. All right. Looking Whoa. inside the trunk. <laughs> Roll a new character. <laughs> <laughs> On the top of it, you find a handwritten letter. Beneath the letter, you find six neatly folded black robes, a cigar box, <laughs> and a sheaf of yellow papers. Hmm. Okay, those robes are nicer <coughs> than what I'm wearing. I don't know why I'm putting this down on paper. It's probably a bad idea, but I feel the need to leave some kind of explanation for my actions and intent. When I look, at, when I took the sarcophagus from my uncle, I did not think it would be missed. I expected to be able to research it and return it later. I was such a fool. Despite believing in the powers we tried to summon, I grossly misunderstood the consequences. Now Rupert is dead, and Harold a madman. Going back to the farmhouse to organize our things. I dread stepping foot again in that place, but I must make sure that our materials will be available again when we need them. Since the others are too shaken to attempt the banishment of the creature, I can only hope that the thing hasn't the power to remain in our reality more than a few hours or days. At least, it's bound to the house itself. I shall search for a means to destroy it before the last of us passes from this world and is released from the house. Oh, and it is released from the house. If it is still there. I believe I know where I can find the knowledge. I need to drive the creature away without assistance from others. I hear tales of mystics in New Orleans that know much of the true magics of the world. I am leaving the gold box in Rupert's care. I told him not to sell it or have it appraised by anyone, but did not tell him why. He also seemed puzzled by my insistence not to live in Boston, but I believe he trusts my judgment not to go into danger unwillingly. My uncle does not know about our dark brotherhood, so Rupert and the others will be safe from anyone looking for it. I'll be back to put things right again. Mary and Al. Postscript. I write this before I close the lid on the trunk. The thing is still in the attic of the house. It seemed to recognize me and spoke foul curses at me. I will carve protective wards on the trunk to prevent any tampering with its contents, just in case. And you do see protective wards carved on the inside of the trunk. Like that? Uh, no. You, that was in the sheaf of yellow papers mm. that you looked through, as was that chant in Latin, mm. and a set of instructions for a ritual. Uh, there was also the cigar box. The there are six copies of the Latin chant there. And do not read that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do not. Uh, do you speak that. Latin? I do. Then you can translate it. Um, another sheet says that the Latin chant was derived from De Vermeer's Mysteries. Uh, and it says that it was derived from a ritual for releasing the spirit trapped inside ancient amber, but the words were twisted so that instead of summoning the ritual, it would 
dispel a spirit. Another sheet has the pentagram, and the instructions say that you need to inscribe that pentagram as part of a ritual, which can be begun at midnight. And there's instructions. It's going to say the ritual will take at least an hour. It has to start at midnight, so you've got a few hours. And one person <laughs> must speak the ritual phrases while another draws the pentagram on the floor, and while a third burns a combination of chemicals in a nearby fire. Uh, notes on it indicate that the fire or the chemicals are the brown powder contained within the cigar box. The chant must be continuous, and so it might be a good idea to have more than one person chanting at once in case somebody has to stop for some reason. <laughs> like <laughs> evisceration or exsanguination? I'm not down yes. there. I don't know any of this. <coughs> I'm with the hobo upstairs. Uh, and Samus. If the, the chant is kept going long enough, the spirit will eventually succumb to it, but the slightest disruption will result in failure requiring a fresh ritual on another night because the ritual can only be begun at midnight. Also, a watcher should be posted lest the sorcerers be disturbed by the nuisances and distractions of any malevolent spirits in the area. I relay all of that. <laughs> <laughs> can I see the pentagram? Yes. I'm, I'm wondering if you used actual, or is this just fancy? Because I think some of these like actually recognize from <laughs> like uh, <it's> American. <laughs> I, I recognize quite a few of them out of character, yeah. but it's the uh, Chaosium stock artwork, so it's what they created, not me. <laughs> mm. Well, what do you think? Is it any of that I script the same script that's? on the inside of the sarcophagus. That would be really cool if it were, but it is not. Okay. Uh, some of that script does, however, match some of the sigils that are carved over the windows. That is not Egyptian, nor is it of Mu. But it does look like warding symbols to you as an occultist. Hmm. See, I have a, a one in the, in the occult skill. Mm -hmm. To me, it looks more like uh, uh, math. Pretty much, <laughs> uh, a lot of it. I don't really go for this kind of thing. I don't either. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. So, you want us? This is invoking names of various powerful names of Azatuth, Naraloftep. Please, Father, do not speak those aloud. <laughs> we're going to be speaking them aloud quite preferently from this ritual if, if we are to believe it. Uh, Why? You have, you have choir skills. Vince, you are singing in the choir as a, as a, as a youth. You're, you'll be the lead <laughs> chanter. Mm -hmm. May I see that, please? Of course. Do you speak Latin? I I can read Latin. You can I read Latin. Then okay. I'll no give you both of them. No. <laughs> if you don't know Latin, then I would just give you the one that says Latin on it. <laughs> no, this is this is all Greek to me. <laughs> <laughs> I do recognize some of these names, and they are not good. Believe me. So why would we be invoking them? <laughs> yeah. Better question. Why were they? Kids do kids stupid d stuff. Yeah. It's just kids being dumb. Jackson. Perhaps they did it to impress women. <laughs> I mean... I don't think there were any women in the group. unusual. <laughs> no, there were not. Well yeah. <laughs> I mean, what does Jackson think about all this? He's been pretty quiet. <laughs> I've done a lot of research into cults, mm -hmm. and this does have all the hallmarks of cult activity. I'll give you that, but <coughs> we're not seriously going to attempt 
burning incense and chanting Latin, are we? No, I'm not. Oh, did you see any demons in the attic? I saw dead, bu- I mean, dead birds, dead squirrels, dead things. Were there any dead humans? There was not that I saw. There were no dead humans. Well, we didn't really look all that. But well I didn't. Yeah, I didn't grab there. that eleven foot ladder, ladder that's in the basement. And, oops, not that I don't know about the ladder. Never mind. Oh no, yeah. yes I do. He told us. Yeah, we'll come up and why don't we explore that attic a little more? Yeah. So our basic yeah. motivation is to fulfill the dying wishes of the professor. Exactly. I was just gonna I'm say just, the exact yeah, same that, thing. That is it. This like is we are the humoring an old man. We are the, humoring the, an old delusional the spooky, man. Spooky stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Allegedly delusional. Yeah. Allegedly, I get right. It. But it just seems so silly. I mean, we could just tell him we did. All right. So who's going up into the attic? I'll go. Perhaps if we drank some You're of that by yourself? booze. Uh, well, I mean, I'm going to start off, like, boost down uh, down you know, climbing a ladder, no boost mm-hmm. down there. hook my head around, Plank, and clink, slowly clink. make my way up there. I'm not just going to, like, dive okay. the first into the guts of All right. dead animals. So no one's going up with you, though? Somebody wants to follow. Right. Are I'm you asking. announcing that you're going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, I go to you the basement. You carrying the ladder, ladder right? Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't hear that part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. carrying the ladder up. I, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, oh, hold on, I'm going to climb up there. Just climb up in there. That'd be a little more, a little easier than me like holding Margaret up. <laughs> what are you seeing up there? <coughs> so it, it's an attic for you know a small house. This isn't a real steep peak. Mm-hmm. The peak is only four feet high, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you're not you're not We're standing up in there. Yeah. You're you're kind of crawling around, looking around. Mm-hmm. But so you went up. So while he does that, I'm going to ask our our squatter friend if he uh, moved any items inside the house. Has he uh, rearranged anything? Or I didn't really go anywhere other than the kitchen. I was pretty much just trying to get out of the cold. And have a fire there out of the wind, but uh, he must be telling didn't work out so well for me. He would have found the booze if he would have went. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's a good point. Hobos yeah. love their booze. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anybody would <laughs> at this point. So yeah, you. So you're uh, up in the attic by yourself. Mm, sure. All right. I'm, pro- I'm like relaying like yeah, it's pretty I'm dirty up I'm here. You know. The ladder <laughs> so you're holding the ladder. Mm. You're up in the Screen attic. You're talking to the hobo. Yeah. So yeah. What are you doing? You're being um, ripped apart. I'm yell ca- once. trying to call my <laughs> cat. <laughs> All right, and where are you? Wi- I've been with Samus. Okay. And Samus is by Red. All right. right. So yeah, and the, uh, only, the only question is, where's Jackson? Jackson's probably going to be with you, helping to hold the ladder because there isn't a whole lot. It's, it's not the best ricky. ladder in the first <laughs> place. Nice He's one side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, an OSHA approved ladder. <laughs> 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 You're pretty sure it's rotted, not. And then he falls and peels himself and dies. Yeah, please um, don't do that. <laughs> as you are poking around up there, mm-hmm. all of a sudden you hear another shriek mm-hmm. from just. You think right outside there, and when I say there, I'm talking about, you know, those little vents that oh. addicts have? Yeah, the heat. Right outside one of those vents. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, out, outside of the vent? <laughs> or in that direction. outside of the vent. <laughs> but then you see dust <laughs> and <laughs> feathers and fur and little bits of animal skeletons kind of swirl up all of a sudden just Whoa. inside of the vent. And this little cyclonic burst of <coughs> air and dead things comes swirling towards mm-hmm. you very rapidly. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna Fall quickly down the back ladder. up and <laughs> head back down. All right. The hole and fireman slide down the side. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Um, Splinters. Like uh, give a little yelp from okay. an unexpected yeah, sort of yelp seems justified. <laughs> uh, Whoa! And <laughs> as you do that, the trap door slams shut. And you hear some growling sounds oh coming from up there. I don't hear so did I make it out of the attic before you, the, tr- the door shut? Yeah, okay. the door slammed mm-hmm. shut just as you... Yeah. I figured you were probably only like three or four steps yeah. in, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. just shot that back. And yeah. Did we, did did we hear that from the main room side? Uh, yes, you heard the shriek, okay. you, and you heard the growling sounds. Okay, and the slamming of the attic? You heard the slamming of the okay. attic door, yeah. Well, that wasn't me. There's something up there. What? Uh, <laughs> Hobo on a stick. I'm not sure exactly <laughs> what I saw. No offense. I mean, those bones. I mean, t- t- Father, it doesn't make sense. I didn't see what I saw. You all of a sudden hear <laughs> creaking sounds mm-hmm. coming from up above, 
and you feel the house kind of swaying a little bit on its foundation, as though there were a really powerful wind blowing it. Well, maybe that could have been it. Maybe just very high wind slammed that door shut and whipped up some bones and some fur that was up in the attic. I don't know. Send more outside, I hunger! That was not the wind line. I mean, I, no. was about, I was about to let Red Jake go, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, poor Red Jake, he probably wants to leave, but probably not is now. He, yeah, is he pooping his pants? <laughs> he probably doesn't um, want to leave now. He actually, if you look over, he fainted. Oh, uh, whoops. Oh, go well, now he's unconscious, we can dress him in one of those black robes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go over I and, mean, like, you know. No one knows he's here. I no, mean. no, no. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Uh, Exorcisms are out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I go over and tend to Red Jake, who has fainted. Yeah, give him some smelling salts. I'm sure I've he, got him in my bag. He, he says, Marianne. send more outside. Is that what he says? Yeah. That's, well, that's what the voice said. You don't know if it's a he. Ah. Equal opportunity. Monsters. Mm. Well, <laughs> you throw the cat outside. So <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm not no. scooping your cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't see it first time, so I'm just relying on what he said. Mm -hmm. And then there's a creepy voice that says, Son of Mars, There was I'm nothing out there. there. And that voice came from up there. Well, was Red telling the truth? That doesn't make any sense. Well, he heard growling, right? Red, are you, are you, how are you holding up? You didn't hear that voice, Margaret? Yeah, of course I did, babe. Who are you? Just wind. <laughs> Red. Who are you? I'm a doctor. <laughs> okay. Do you have uh, yes, I do. some morphine? And I hand oh. him a nice bottle. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Much safer. Took a big pull. <laughs> and another big pull. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I recommend not going outside. Well... Uh, have you known the professor to be? I think it's time we sit down and read that journal. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> no. And your grandfather? No. No. I mean, no. From the from what I remember of him, he was into some interesting stuff. But he was always a useful consultant on my death cult investigations. But when did he get into that kind of work? Well. I've been writing about him for ten years. I came to him with anthropological questions about why people would be in these sorts of crazy organizations, and he always had good insights for that. When I was, when I first met him, I was only a child, and it was in Egypt, and we, there were excavations, and death cults were plentiful in. Uh, in the ancient times, in that area of the world. Perhaps whatever is outside believes it is a monster or a demon. It could be a real person or it could be a spirit. <laughs> you had me until you said the spirit. <laughs> um, you guys I'm not going out there. You guys all suddenly smell mm -hmm. something. Oh, there was a wood fire, okay. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a smell of rot. Oh, no. Contagion. We, we smelled that kind of coming off of the furniture earlier, it, right? We, but you I did smell it coming off of the furniture earlier, but it's a lot worse okay. now. Okay. Mm -hmm. It smells Maybe. like my home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it smells more like a landfill in July oh. than hmm. just... And it Musty just kind furniture of just around in a big yeah. loft. Yeah, yeah, hot stink. Yep, <sighs> nothing like a hot what size <laughs> robe do you wear, Doctor? What size <laughs> robe do I wear? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I wear. A, what do you mean? I wear a uniform and a no, jacket there were and a coat. There were six robes. I'm not that wearing a robe. Downstairs. I'm not putting on a robe. She wants the V-neck one. <laughs> but <laughs> can we open a window? Can I open a window? It said the smell came from inside, right? Yeah, well, yeah, you can open a window. I'm opening a window. Does anyone want to stop her from opening a window? It sounds like a bad idea to me. <laughs> are, there, 
Are there any glyphs over the windows? There or are the glyphs doors? over the windows and the doors, yes. So I'll just say I'm going to go open the window and try to air this stench out. It's not coming from the inside. Isn't it? I don't think it is. We've Maybe. been in here for yeah, an, hour, an hour and we've not s smelled it. Right, it just happened just now. It's getting stronger. Well, it must be coming from the inside. It's not coming from. It doesn't smell like it's coming from the outside. Does well, at this point, I probably have no olfactory senses whatsoever. But <laughs> my character's mind that this is a demon. Okay. That's my character's mind. So I will begin to let us know what you're thinking, in, Father. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm just saying. So it doesn't seem odd when my character walks over to this trap door and begins to speak in invoke that. the name yeah. of God and think things of that weird nature. Anyway. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna just like kick into that Latin chant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not that one. That's not my god. <laughs> window. Oh. All right. See, you go over. You open a window. Okay. Does it let all the well, air? Come and up. honestly, it, if she gets snatched and disemboweled, <laughs> we still got uh, red. Yeah. To sure. wear that uh, last. I already told you guys we can dress them up. He's something yeah. matches. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so you open the window. Mm -hmm. And normally, when you open a window, right. you expect air to flow in right, and out, right? Right. right. Uh, especially in January. Yes. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wind tends, and especially when you say you have a warmer room and a cold outside. Right. right. The air is completely Science. still when you open the window. I close the window. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's no air coming through the window. <laughs> Still night. So we're all it wasn't the last time you were outside. No, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Plus when, you're you're in your when she closes the window, <laughs> I'm like my hand starts to shake a little bit. Sure. Because out of curiosity, is this, <laughs> does my invoking of anything cause anything up there? Going on? Uh, you hear some laughter. Actually, <laughs> oh, I'm kind of creeping. It's not house. a Catholic demon. <laughs> 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 Few Rats. demons are. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't know how many nuns you know, right. but I mean, <laughs> our, our skepticism aside, Margaret. I mean, <laughs> is there any thing that you can think of that you that can account for what we are experiencing? It's probably about nine o'clock by this point. I mean, this isn't a mass hallucination, is it? Have you studied well, such things? I've heard a lot of people talk about mass hallucinations. I've never experienced one before. Well, then you wouldn't be a part of the mass until now, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was that um, one time in 89. So I don't know how psycho... I have psychoanalysis, but sure. I don't know how to maybe try to utilize that in this sort of a situation. So psychoanalysis is usually going to be examining a person okay. and seeing okay. how they're responding to a circumstance, not okay. so much so just, just okay. knowledge sure of psychology, right. but, right. uh, I mean, what's, so what's your question? I guess I was thinking along the lines of, like, uh, how Dakin's character, is that how you say his name? Declan. Declan's character was saying, you know, is there any sort of, is there any sort of, can, can I find a way to make this make sense? for everyone at a scientific or, uh, you know... Uh, you can always <coughs> rationalize yeah, things, yeah, yeah. but you recognize at this point that you would be rationalizing things, not explaining things, if okay. that makes sense to, to you. Okay. You feel like you could probably <coughs> come up with facts that you could shoehorn into explaining what's going on, but it doesn't feel like any facts you've experienced, any <laughs> science you've experienced okay. before. Okay. Okay. Houses don't usually talk like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> so in I, general. I, I am, so Mine's normally a lot nicer. Right, <laughs> right. So, yeah, so in just going through and having the experience and trying to rationalize it as wind and all of these other things, I probably know as, a, as my character that I'm really, really reaching on yeah. the... <laughs> okay. Yes. So you're the Lord says he'll get really, me out of this, really but he's pretty sure... really, really trying to reach some sanity <laughs> yeah. level of how to make this... The Lord sense. said he'll get me out of this, but he's pretty sure you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I so can't I can't explain it. I, I truly can't explain it. I, I can draw very inconclusive and long-winded parallels if I try. 
but uh, straight up, no, I've had patients who have heard voices, I've never heard them, I've had seen patients that have had hallucinations, I've never seen, I've seen other patients react in a mass solution, uh, mass solution, is that what? <laughs> so yes. while I'm talking, when you're scratching? Yeah, you hear noises from upstairs, okay. scrambling and scratching so. around. What's I mean, my that cat? That could be a rat. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Your cat is as wigged out as you have ever seen it. Maybe she left her cat at home. <laughs> well, my cat goes everywhere. Okay. It's kind of looking around and just hissing at things. Hmm. What I know from my studies. I believe that whatever that thing is believes it is a demon. It is not a god. Okay. So we have to not. suspend our disbelief here just for a moment and well, entertain the notion that that thing up there is a spirit. That was in this box. The box that you just opened? Yes. No. Well, why <laughs> did you open the box? It did not... It was opened... It escaped... When they performed the ritual. Yeah, I think the journal says something like that. Yes. We need to put it back, back in, in the box. box. Right. Wouldn't you know, we have a ritual here. And this that ritual does that. is supposed to do this? Yes. I can I read, would probably I can read Latin. Yeah. Can I, uh, do you have another Latin translated yeah, it's, ritual there? There's a chant in Latin and a chant in English. Uh, but there's also instructions <laughs> there's also instructions to perform the ritual that I what do we do with the don't book? have in print for you. But it's all right, we're not gonna role play that out. Thank you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean I'll get the candles. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. I mean, well, I would I'm hmm. The, turn the, lights on the question yeah. is, <laughs> where like is that saint. box? It's probably in the... Where is the witch? Th the the box. I have the box. The sarcophagus uh, box? Yes. Okay. There you you go. have it? Yes. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say any of that. I'm still universe. yelling at the... Can you be any more bad? <laughs> yelling my incantations. Sure. Yeah. You're, okay. you're thoroughly blessing the... Uh, <laughs> yes. The air. Very yes. blessed everywhere. Well, if it's a demon, what about, uh, don't they do exorcisms? He said that wasn't his wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Jesuit chap. I don't come across many exorcisms. <laughs> hmm. So if whatever's up there thinks Fortunately, that none of us are being possessed by this demon or spirit. How do you know that for sure? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Very know. audible <laughs> sigh. Oh, God. Because uh, we can hear its disembodied voice. Or just possessing someone, the house. you know, projecting is, their voice. That is uh, a good question. Clearly, you we could know more down. about this. I mean, yes. do you think we should perform this? Pull back and nuke it from orbit. That's what <laughs> I, I, I it's the only way we should. None of that makes any sense to us right now. Um, Mustafa, do you think we should perform this ritual? If what is up there thinks that it, it is hurt. what it is, I mean, in in any case of, we of sometimes you do I mean, in 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 you know mental health issues. Sometimes you do have to go along with. Whatever the patient the delusion is, yeah, it's sometimes just the only way to break it. By taunting us to leave, it wants us to stay. <laughs> it wants to eat us. Well, that's what We're it says. It's belly. probably whoever's living in the attic eating animals probably does want to eat whatever's here. I don't think that the demon possesses the house or is the house. I think it is trapped here, or it is trapped. In this vicinity, is that what all these symbols? Is that you think that that's yes? What that's for? All of these symbols, according to the journals, keep it inside of it, or in the room. yes, bound to this house. Can't keep it completely in the house because obviously, if there's a bunch of dead animals, we assume that the sin brought them up there. Yeah. 
I think we should do the ritual. Whether it's a delusion or a spirit, I don't see we have any other choice. You say there's something for me to chant? <laughs> yeah. You I'll said chant. That, that Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Uh, we I can translate it into. Are we gonna? How are we going to? Are we going to do it in the Latin form? Or the instructions say you need to chant it in Latin. Oh, okay. Well, then that probably won't help people who can't speak Latin. <laughs> so be, much. There, there's six copies of it written out, okay. so everybody can hold a copy. Anybody that wants to chant can hold a copy and chant. It's a great. Okay. Perfect well, you need number. a lookout. I don't think I'll well, partake in we this. Got red. <laughs> yeah, r red's got his, He's got his, his bottle. He's probably feeling a little I can look out. <laughs> He's probably got a little <laughs> more liquid courage in him now. <laughs> you got a gun I can hold while I look out? I do. Uh, All right. Yes, I, I don't do. think that's a Here. good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, no, don't give me the drunken hobo again. I don't think He's that's a good that idea. Way. Yeah, I got, I'm good with a gun. <laughs> I used a bigger gun than this in the Great War. It's just a revolver. A hobo with a shotgun. What more can you ask for? <laughs> it's just a revolver. He was well, we can't war. start. Can shoot. We're supposed to start at midnight. Right. No, no shooting at anything but coming that way. Right. Or okay. I got windows. it. I don't think shooting at demons. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a demon. It's a okay. <laughs> Something tells me I should have talked to Mama Joe a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> So Denial ain't just a river in Egypt. <laughs> so I'll review whatever it's the... My home. If there's any... like I'm sure like all the instructions from that chest have been passed around. Yeah, yeah. so all, there's so a ritual like, you need yeah. to start at midnight. It doesn't say we have to don the robes as well. It does not say you have to don the robes. They're just... Put your courage to right. I mean. <laughs> it's an encouragement. Yeah. It's at the bottom. A <laughs> you get a discount. <laughs> uh, so there is... A pentagram that needs to be drawn out on the floor. There is some chalk in Does the anybody have art that you can use to draw it out? Oh, art. And yes, then there is a cigar box that gun. nobody has opened, but it, the instructions say the cigar box has a brown dust in it that mm -hmm. needs to be burned as a part of the ritual, as okay. an incense. And then there's the chant, and the chant needs to be performed for the entirety of the ritual. And the ritual can take up to two hours. Okay. And that that should exercise any spirits. The house could burn faster than two hours. <laughs> yeah, my vote. Can we just burn the house to the ground? Yeah, that would solve the problem. Would also release a demon out into the. Yeah, then I mean, if. Well, I thought you said the house wasn't possessed. But if it if isn't possessed, it's just trapped here. That's yeah. not. Yeah. It will burn the house those itself wars. is not. It will be like burning down the prison and then the inmates getting out. Or just burning whatever's alive in the attic and killing it. Then we'd be murderers. Yeah, if you think it's a delusional person. Yeah. You're right. I have, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Human dignity and value is my pillar of sanity. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not burn the house down. Well, who can draw? No, um, I have spent a lot of time bopping around pyramids and such. So, so I he's seen drawings. Yeah, <laughs> you've the seen them. <laughs> I, you've, done, you've done the, the charcoal. is not an Egyptian thing, mm -hmm. but I do have a cult. Yeah, then now I would trust whoever had a cult to, to yeah. probably yeah. do a better yeah. job. Yeah, than yeah. yeah. All right. my Latin skills oh. and library use. So <laughs> Jackson's in on on chanting. Reds in on watching. on the watching. shooting of the yeah. yeah. Well, we're, we're so not an armed drunk man. You're drawing. It's always yeah. a good combo. Uh, what are you doing? Maybe I'll just hide in the cellar. All right, excellent <laughs> strategy. By yourself. <laughs> I don't think anybody else is volunteering. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Margaret. Uh, I'll s stay with the uh, the group, but I'm not really. Will you hold my cat while I draw? Your cat's gonna rip my face off. My cat likes you. <laughs> How do we know that your cat likes me? It hasn't ripped your face off yet. <laughs> it might. It might now. <laughs> sure, I'll hold your cat. You. All right. So you're watching, basically. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm helping watching. prepare All with the crazy whatever people. I think I know how to do. That. Okay. Well. Hey, is that steamer trunk big enough to hold me? Absolutely. Okay. There I am. All right. You're powering <laughs> the steamer trunk. Excellent strategy. Um, and it's got wards on it, so you're probably the safest of the bunch. 
Uh, were you planning to chant? Or, or I'm going to chant. Wash? Okay, so you're going to so you got two chanters. And Father? Well, I know Latin. So you're going to chant as well? Might as well. But you're going to use that church laugh instead of classical. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. Is it like big laugh? Find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to say... <laughs> well, I don't have any skills to help you guys out. I literally don't. No, well, you can keep watch. Yeah, I am watching the inside of the. Well, yeah. <laughs> if uh, I hear noises, I can come out. All right. I'll be the. So brave, Sir Robin. We'll time jump Just ahead to midnight, <laughs> <laughs> and you guys start the ritual. And initially, things are going pretty well. Yeah. You get the pentagram drawn out in the ground without a problem. Chanting's going well. Get the fire going, burn some of the uh, brown mm -hmm. incense. Mm -hmm. yeah. As you're doing that, uh, when you open the cigar box, you notice there's a, another tube in there that instead of having brown powder in it, has kind of a silvery powder in it. Mm. There's no mention of that anywhere in any of the stuff about performing the ritual, so you're not quite sure what that is. It's a little glass vial of silvery powder, though. Uh, and things are going pretty well. Uh, I said first about 15, 20 minutes. You're chanting. Nothing seems to be happening, right? Uh, but you do hear the noises from upstairs. The scrabbling and the scratching. Uh, yeah. Does do the instructions say what we should do with the box? Like, do we leave the box open in the middle of in the... In the middle of the pentagram. Okay. Not even open, closed. The sarcophagus box? Is that yeah. Open? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but after about 20 minutes, you start hearing some more grunting noises coming from upstairs. You hear, no, don't do that, no, kind of, let me hear some cursing coming out, Crazy. stop that. Crazy. <laughs> Anybody respond? Nope. I am chanting. Yeah. Yeah. I, one thing priests can do, they can follow the <laughs> 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 Chanting louder? Yeah. Um, Chanting for hours on end, that, that's in my wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you feel, you know that wind I mentioned earlier? Mm -hmm. That kicks up again. Mm -hmm. It all starts shake. to vibrate and shake a little bit. Um, and you hear some thuds, you hear them particularly from the basement, as things oh. fall off the shelves oh. downstairs. So I'm seeing it happen too. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, so you're, you hear the thudding and the crashing. Um, from downstairs, mm -hmm. and that smell. Uh, remember, I said it was pretty foul mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. it, it seems to have intensified to the point that your eyes are starting to water, um, and it's it's really kind of nauseating. Can everybody give me a stability check, please? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can tell me if you want to spend any points on this. Normally, the difficulty for a stability check is a four. A four. Mm -hmm. And you're just using your stability pool. You can spend points from your stability. Okay. So I'm going to so spend three. All right. That is auto pass. That's correct. Oh, I right. these ones. Three. So you got a three. So spend two. All right. Uh, you're going to lose yes. three points of stability. Okay. I'll spend two points. All right. I'm gonna spend two. And I rolled a two, so I'm a four. four. I, I rolled a five and I spent two, so All right. I seven. So you're, you're good. And Declan? Six. You are loving this. In fact, you uh, this reminds you of some stuff you did in college. <laughs> 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 oh, Brings right. back some fond memories. Well, of course, is, which is what <laughs> Rupert and his buddies did. So, mm -hmm. um, and after about another 15, 20 minutes of this, the stench starts starts to fade a little bit, Oops. but you see that the walls are starting to weep. Some kind of black goo Ew. weeping down the walls, from coming from the very top of the walls and just slowly seeping down. Uh, it's more you, it's kind of congealing, and there's another smell, a metallic odor coming off of that now. Chanting louder. Right. I must admit, I don't see any of that. No, you do not. <laughs> you know, that's true. You, you might smell it, but you don't see yeah, it. Yeah, you just saw the bottles break <laughs> yeah. and whatnot in the half shake. So, pretty same stuff as far as. Uh, and uh, <laughs> who's watching out the windows? Is anyone? 
Oh, Bobo yeah. Joe. Bobo Joe. Yeah, Red Jake. <laughs> All right. Red Jake, yeah, Red is, Jake is watching out the windows. Nobody stuff. else is watching the windows? No, I was taking care of the cat in the kitchen, I guess. Is that where we're doing this? In the kitchen? Is that where all this no, is? No, this was... I, I think they're in the living room. It's okay. right, okay. Uh, we're right okay. underneath the trap door. Well, the trap door's in the kitchen. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. So okay, so yeah, we are doing this in the kitchen. Okay. Because okay. you got the okay. open hearth okay. in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Uh, so... I have to buy new linoleum after we're done, but <laughs> probably new pants too. <laughs> uh, I gotta go help her. Uh, Red says. What? Oh, who? She's she looks hurt. Uh, I'm gonna go out and help no, her. Okay, Red, don't go what? out there. Well, you, I got somebody's gotta go help her. Where? 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 She points where? out there. Where? Where? <laughs> I'm over the window. And uh, uh, there is a woman. The yeah. <laughs> out in the field outside, okay. Okay. and she's kind of struggling towards the house and she's, she's limping really badly and has an arm across her chest like she's really badly hurt kind of stumbling towards the house and you can see she's carrying something in her one arm that isn't holding her chest or torso rather but she's kind of limping and she looks like she's in obvious agony I, I'm gonna go He's heading over towards the back door. The door. He's lifted the bar up off of it. Jesus. Okay, so let me just ask this. As my pillar of sanity is... Do no harm, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> is belief in moral principles and human dignity and value would I feel compelled to go out there and help this lady, too? Seems like the right thing to I, do, yeah. and I think that's worth two stability. Okay, yeah. All right, let's... All right, Red, do you feel... Why don't you give me the gun? Why don't you hand me the gun? Wait, you're, you're the doctor? Yes, but you, you seem a little... Both of us should go out there and help her. Okay, Come but, on, we'll, we'll but, both go out. Okay, but you... Okay, but don't swing the gun <laughs> anywhere. You're a well, little inebriated, so... I just I'm fine. I, I yeah, drank more than this on the, on the front line. Every inebriated lines. person in the world. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. All right, let's go. Let's go see. Let's let, let's make it quick. All right. Okay. So the two of you go outside. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <coughs> um, and close the door behind us. So but you can't, can't bar it from the outside. Right. I know. Okay. Right. Right. So you're coming outside, and Red's going outside. Everybody okay. Everybody else is still Until inside. Until I hear some kind of major disturbance. <laughs> you're like fine you, down there. You heard the back door open. Okay. It's not a major disturbance. Though. Okay. Well. Is it? I mean, it's just the back door. <laughs> All right. Um, and you got? Do you have a flashlight? I well, I yes, I'm certain I took one. Since okay. he's got the gun, I'm gonna take. You got yeah, your I'll flashlight and you got your black bag, right? Yeah, I'm so yeah bogged down right so now. So you're equipment. walking over there and you shine the flashlight <laughs> on this woman, mm -hmm. and you suddenly realize as the light hits her more clearly, mm -hmm. and she's only about me to you. Oh, great. By Good. the time you realize Perfect. this, you get the flashlight yeah. on her. You exactly see that want. her front is completely drenched in blood. Okay. And she has a huge hole right here that goes clean through to her spine. Okay, and so her she's eyes in shock. Are, <laughs> uh, yeah. Her <laughs> eyes are completely white. Her skin is just hanging off her face. And she's holding in her the one arm that was clutching the chest, uh -huh. the other arm she's holding a raccoon. Oh. A very dead raccoon. Okay. I thought you were gonna say baby. Jake, let's let's get nope. She's beyond our help. Let's go. <laughs> uh, and you need to give me a stability test. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> no, I think you should make a first aid check. <laughs> <laughs> On the raccoon. Okay, so yeah, the it, raccoon it, has it, a better so chance. So what of is moving. stability as a, as opposed to, to sanity? It's stability my uh, is it sort of like a thing where you just kind of utilize it to get keep yourself together. Okay, so like a mo what's a moral check? Well, so it's more a, a gut check kind okay. of thing. I'd well, like to run away. Mor morality. At some point, is but, there but a not morality that that's bad. in the sense of I'm a good person <laughs> you mean for mor stability? Morale. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Is there a number that I, I don't want to hit? So in normally, st <laughs> normally stability tests are mm -hmm. for difficulty. Okay. So you decide if you're spending points before you roll. Okay. But as it goes down lower, does so you can actually get into negative numbers. Yep. Negative oh, okay. numbers is where things start to go okay. horribly wrong. All right, that's what I. Okay, when you get into negative numbers, is when you've come unstrung. Okay, good. All right, well, not good, but I get it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spend a point. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. God, this dice 
the tower yeah, is the yeah, worst. This is the torso murder. Oh. oh, five. Five? All right. Um, you don't lose any additional stability okay. then. Okay, okay. Uh, but you're, you're feeling pretty yeah, I'm uncomfortable trying with to this grab whole situation. Um, Red, on the other hand, is drunk. has the clear solution, and he just starts shooting oh, like mad. Oh, I shouldn't give this guy this gun. <laughs> well, it seems safer when we're in the house, not when we're outside. I, and I believe there's <laughs> only six bullets Mustafa. in that thing. <laughs> All right, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Uh. Um, and the woman yeah, I was going right through her comes her. over towards him, and yeah. The bullets are hitting her, yeah, but they don't but seem to be having any I mean, impact. Yeah, and she comes up on him and just chomps into his neck. Oh. And you see blood spray everywhere as she does that. Great. Does he drop the gun? Well, I hear the gunfire, so <laughs> I'm coming upstairs. Yeah, yeah, you definitely heard the gunfire. There is no oh, question yeah, that you heard the gunfire. Wait a second. That's a major, so <laughs> a major disturbance. Is, does, she, does, he, does, does he drop Were the gun? Were you taking a nap? Uh, yeah, but well, it you heard it click I, I, I didn't see the like, yeah. I, I'm oh, okay. the ambush. Okay. I'm the ambush. All right. Oh, okay, so you're... you're I want to try to grab him and pull, pull him off of her and try to drag him back to the... Listen, this is... This is this is my pillars of sanity, dude. This is what I gotta do. And try, I mean, I, I'm sure I'm gonna rip his neck clean off him, but I'm gonna grab, if there's an arm, grab it and try to run to back to the cabin. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I'm sure it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just role playing. Sure. So. You'll grab his arm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <you're the only laughs> <thing I'm> <laughs> and that's it. And that's what so comes with you. You grab his arm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go ahead and give me an athletics test. And okay. Tell me if you want to spend any points on this. Um, athletics. Okay. I will spend. I'll spend one point of athletics. All right. Three. All right. So you grab his arm yeah, nice and give a strong tug, mm -hmm. and you're pulling, but he's not going anywhere. Oh my god. Uh, because it's pretty clear that this thing has got. We could say a woman. This woman. Thing. Is very strong <laughs> right now and yeah. has a really yeah, solid grip on sure. his throat. This adrenaline does amazing things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, <coughs> So you're outside, yeah, you're trying to yeah. drag Red back in. Yeah, it's not working. You're okay. chanting. Mm -hmm. chanting. You're chanting. You're drawing. You guys heard all these gunshots. You're just going to keep doing what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Don't interrupt the ritual, man. There's one thing a priest can do. It's follow directions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I come upstairs. You come upstairs. You look out the window, mm -hmm. and you see... Uh, Margaret trying to drag somebody by his arm and she's <laughs> leaning back and pulling and nothing's happening because somebody else is also holding that guy and you do a double take, right? Because the person who's holding him has her mouth around his throat and I mean you've seen some kinky stuff in your time <laughs> but you haven't seen this before. Give me a stability check. Do you want to spend <coughs> any points on that? Two points I guess. All right. Six. Okay. Yeah, you are not not particularly rattled about that, but uh, to each their own. Yeah, that's 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 a new one to you. <laughs> um, you also see by Red's feet uh, a pit, a six shooter. Okay, yeah, that would have been my revolver. <laughs> um, I'll yell outside to her to come back in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. You hear someone yelling at you. You're a little uh, distracted yeah, at the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, chanting, okay. chanting, drawing. I hear him yelling. Out of curiosity, I've, I've probably in the hours that it took to prepare. Did did it say we had to stand around this thing to chant, or could we? You know, you get what I'm saying? Like, is it? Was, or was it explicit, like, we have to stand here, here, and here? And uh, there <laughs> were not specific points, spot. but it, you got the impression you had to be prob within line of sight of the uh, pentagram. Okay, I'm just, like, I'm, like, we're just standing there. Yeah. yeah. Like, if something comes out. <laughs> <laughs> but you do know only one person has to be continuously chanting. So if somebody, you can take turns if somebody needs to take a break from the chanting. So I, I heard him yelling Margaret's name, like, yeah. from the door. Yeah. Like, get in here. Yes. 
Shit. I'm going to stop chanting and I'm going to rush to the door. Okay. You can even keep chanting and rush to the door. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's that's you can do it's that. Like I'm sure we all remember in the few yeah. yeah. hours that it took to do this. Yeah. We've memorized. Yeah. 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 I'll probably do that. But, I mean, uh, my head is not with the chanting anymore. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm you can concerned. make a stability check because you just saw this woman eating red <laughs> while Margaret's trying to drag him away from her. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just my Tell pillars. me if you want to spend eight points on that. <laughs> I do. I'm a humanist. All right. Another two points. Okay. Yep. Uh, seven. So, again, you saw this kind of stuff in college, clearly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. You we were in the trenches. You saw the trenches. Right, right, that's true. I've seen the horrors of war. So um, it's nothing. But it's still unsettling. Yeah. I, uh, I rushed the thing. Oh, my God. Which one? Uh, yeah. The thing. Okay. Uh, the, uh, that is the on woman. Top of, the woman running. that's on With top of the right. binder. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to just, like, drop kick it to see if I can kick her off. Of All it. right, so you come rushing in. You're doing that. You're still dragging. You're yeah. still at the door. <laughs> yeah, I saw the door. <laughs> All right. Um, tell me, what is your scuffling? Uh, Currently, your current scuffling pool. Uh, my current pool is two. Okay, and what is your scuffling? Two. two? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you're closer to the scene, so I'm going to have you go first. Tell okay. me what you're doing, and then... Uh, Declan will go. So, I, Margaret? I'm gonna, st I, one, I mean, I'm really gonna try to do this, like, you know, once more for, <laughs> for heroics and All right. try to get so this. So, you're just trying to tug. Give me an athletic roll. See know? what, uh, Just one more time. Okay. So are I'm you spending spend points? A point. Yeah, I All know right. I'm completely out of athletics. It's exhausting to be athletic. Eight. Eight. Wow. You give a big tug. You feel <laughs> something give. Okay. But you've got red. Uh, and I'm just going. Yeah, you I'm take just off not running. even paying attention if so, it's just an arm. Yeah. So you, t <laughs> you're hurrying and you're dragging. You don't. You think it's more than an arm. Okay, it's pretty good. heavy what you're okay, dragging okay. behind you. And as she pulls away, you're looking because she wasn't, and you were heading towards mm -hmm. the situation. Mm -hmm. You see a huge spray of jugular arterial blood. Um, so it's, you know, doing the Six spurt, foot. spurt, uh, spurt, oh. coming off of there. Okay. Um, and just, but you're committed, right? <laughs> so you were charging in yeah, as that happened. You're yeah. ready to lay into <laughs> yeah. To an moment. undistracted beast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and give me a scuffling roll. Do you want to spend any points on that? <laughs> yes, I'm going to spend one. Okay. All right. Because I need the last one for something else. Probably not dying. Yeah. <laughs> Six. Beat me. All right. uh, go ahead and roll your damage. You're just. How do I do that? You're doing your fists, yeah. right? Yeah. So or that's going to be a d6 minus two. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Four. All right. For the side of the head. You lay into a solid kick just as she was shifting. Where is it at? Uh, <laughs> she was. Her head was pulled down as the body was pulled away from her mouth, and you just boot kick her to the head. And you see her neck snap in a way that would not end well for someone who was, say, uh, animated by more natural means. <laughs> uh, and she collapses to the ground. All right. I'll leave her there. And I turn around immediately and, like, <laughs> assess the, the death of uh, Red here. Are you going inside? Well, Following I'm, her inside? Because yeah. yeah. you were heading in. Yeah, but I'm going to try to stop Margaret. Who clearly is doesn't is not paying attention to what she's dragging? Yeah, okay. Right. And I yell, Margaret, you got to put him down. You have also <laughs> seen that Red is unquestionably dead at this point. <laughs> there is no going back from that kind of blood loss. No reason for me to go out and help him. <laughs> <laughs> clearly not. But are you going to say in. anything to Margaret, or are you? <laughs> We're all cashed in. I'll just let it go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's say to Margaret. He's dead. We just get it. Uh, like I'm just running. All right, do you drop him or do you keep dragging him? I'm gonna keep dragging. All him. right, awesome. <laughs> so you come rushing into the house with the corpse yeah. over your shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Basically. Do you follow the corpse in? Yeah. And you got out of the way so that they. Yeah, that's right. I'm are a you, doorman. Oh, are yeah. you closing yeah. the door after everybody's back in? Involving barring it. it. Yeah. All right. I'm barring it. All right. So my bag. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, well, so chanting. Are, you're still chanting. Do you resume chanting at this point, or are you? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take. Uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> you can't right. chant with a mint. Yeah, oh, maybe else yeah he's reading a book and chanting. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he's drawing a pen. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you heading back to the, your trunk? Um, hmm. That is a question. That is so a have, question. We have a dead body on the ground now well, in the kitchen. I don't, I don't yes. Yeah. Uh, in f <laughs> I'm going to come back to that in a minute, but you, as you're drawing, now have a dead body which is bleeding on the floor and you're pretty sure if somebody doesn't move that corpse soon. Yeah, get the yeah, sound I of thought the I room. brought him into the front. Oh, it was no, the no, kitchen? It was yes. Door. Oh. I'm like moving this. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> 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 Gotta get him out of here. Okay, okay. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, uh. Is there enough? tells me that I will be chanting for whatever happens. All right. Okay, Very good. That's, that's more important. I don't blood through this freaking pentagram. Jeez, I thought he was in the front for some No, reason. no. That. Samus. The, bar, the bar's on the back door of the house. I know, but he was in the front. When he was saying, we got a helper, we got a helper, he was supposed to be in the main room, I thought. Uh, he, was in the, he was in the back. Uh, I said see, he, moved I the the door, he moved the bar off I of the door. I had the wrong visualization okay. of what yeah. was going on, but okay, so <laughs> my bad. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so then, okay, it's... Do I in fairness, the blood's not spraying anymore. It's just kind of oozing at this no, point. So I'm going to drag him around around the pentagram into the main room. Okay. Okay. That's or the mine. basement, which is right there, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Drag it down the basement. Yeah. I don't know. He's dead. I still think. Like, I have no idea other than him telling me he's dead. Just drop him. Well, you're a physician. I'm going to give you for free <laughs> that when jugular blood stops okay. spurting. Okay. I mean, I didn't know if I had calmed myself enough to. No, I, to even bear without witness. calming yourself enough, you. Because you made your stability test. I mean, you didn't lose okay, that much right, stability. Right, right, okay, okay, so, okay. I mean, you know okay. when the blood's not... Shit. Yeah. Okay. It's bad. Oh, damn it, Red. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of that He had later. a red shirt on. He wasn't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> he had red hair, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Samus and Margaret, why don't you take that to the basement? That's what my plan was, drag it down right. the basement. Yeah, let's get this out of the way. You know, the blood's going to flow down anyway. So as long as it's not flowing <laughs> across that pentagram, I'm good to go. Can you give me the, the Latin. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. The Latin Latin or the, or the translated? The Latin. The Latin one. Okay. Yeah, down the stairs. All right. I mean, just, just so the, the two, are, are you staying down, down there with the body? Or two. So yeah, um, you know, I'll put the tarp over him. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe we should put the body in the pretty. trunk with the room. Oh my god, I'm not putting the body in the trunk. Is there body when it's smush into this? How big is this trunk? Is it body? It's a steamer thing? trunk, so yeah, it's. it's huge. Oh, yeah, what I'm thinking is steamer trunk. I'm still thinking like it's just. No, a box. no, like. Okay. Five, six feet long. Okay. Uh, yeah, probably okay. three and a half is there feet ruins by three or feet. In this box? When you open it, there are runes inscribed in in, inside of the lid. Yes. I'm not there, but. Uh, <laughs> There's also six lovely robes in there, unless someone put one on. Uh, I'm wearing I'm a take robe. Take the robes out. I'm already wearing. Take the <laughs> I'm I guess I'll dump the robes out. Put the body in the box and put the tarp over the body. All right. All right. Close the lid. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> There's no rope or anything to bind the box. The buying the trunk. There, you could find some rope down here. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. I plan them. on buying that box. Okay. okay. I don't want any haunted, possessed bodies. Um, do you guys, everybody, give me a sense trouble roll, please. A sense trouble. If you want to spend any points on it. Okay. I, uh, I don't want to. I'm probably gonna roll a one anyway. All right. Good. Oh, well. I don't think we need the sense trouble. We're <laughs> already in the. <laughs> Three. All right. So who got a four or higher?
I'm upstairs. Yeah, I don't know if I yeah. See that. You, you see that, and you see that, and you definitely saw that. I'm not sure if our chanter or our artist saw that. Um, <laughs> two chanters. Your chanter. Yes, yes. Jackson is also chanting. I'm going to run downstairs and get the weapon that the hobo used to. Attack. That's outside. That's a, it's a table leg. Yeah. The hate a weapon's yeah. a weapon. Yeah. You got a table leg. No problem. <laughs> There's oh, I thought you were talking about her gun. No, no, the weapon he used to oh, the table. Yeah, there's, in fact, there's a broken table. There's three more legs if you want to, you know, Spears. dual wield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> legs, nice, yeah. I'm still dual wielding. Absolutely. I'm all for it. <laughs> Is the thing still trying to knock the house off of its foundation? Uh, so. It's actually a little staggered by the fact that it ran full speed into a wall. Um... I thought it'd be staggered because its brains are falling out of its head, but you would think so. Yeah, but that but didn't that stop didn't it. seem to yeah, <laughs> be as much of an impediment. <laughs> um, but you guys have been working on this ritual now for about an hour and a half, so you are we've got thirty more minutes, guys. Uh, and at this watch, point, <laughs> I would like everybody that is involved in the ritual to give me another stability check and tell me if you're spending points. Seven. Seven. Ooh. Ooh, really? Did you, were you resuming working on the ritual, or are you? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Give it a roll. Six. Okay. Uh, so you guys are chanting along, and suddenly you feel just kind of a vortex of energy sucked out of you. And as that happens, uh, you all lose two stability, and you see a cloud appear over the center of the pentagram. And it kind of becomes denser and more opaque, and so you can't see through it anymore. And it takes kind of a shape of a funnel cloud, and that swirls around and swirls around until it makes contact with the sarcophagus, and then it vanishes. And the house goes deadly quiet. You don't hear any more grunting, groaning, no more shaking. The walls are no longer weeping. That stench is completely gone, and you do not set hear any kind of noise coming from outside. So how much time we got left? Yeah, I look on the clock at one. <laughs> it's <laughs> two in the morning. What's my cat doing? Your cat is finally curled up and re like it's ready to fall asleep. This house is coming. I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Why I didn't not? Want to say it because it's because it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely pull out the whiskey bottle this time. But it's only you said an hour and a half, and you said the ch the ritual well, said takes two, two hours. Two hours. Oh, it's two, in the two morning. hours of fat. Okay. Time yeah. flies when you're having <laughs> close encounters, encounters yeah. with <laughs> demons, and bears, zombie <laughs> bears. Yeah. Oh, poor kid in the basement. Poor kid in the basement. What the hell was all this? I'm going to perform the last rites. <laughs> oh, I think it's a reason to drink, is what it is. Yeah, yeah. I I'll think take whiskey. I'll, I'll take a yeah. shot. Yeah, I'm not that observant. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go in the basement to do that, I'll agree. Burn this place. Uh, Wait. We're going to get a lot less money for it if we burn it. Uh, there's a body in the basement lot. Uh, <coughs> yeah. You want to explain that to a bunch of white cops? There's, there's one outside, too. Oh, is that woman out there? Yeah. Well, oh. we can drag that one inside the uh, house. I look, is there well, one yeah, still out there? Yeah, she collapsed or she there? Okay. Is okay. there actually a bear out there? There is a collapsed bear out uh, there. There is a dead is raccoon out there. And there is a dead woman out there. Yeah, drag it all into the house. Probably the woman out there and bring the raccoon <laughs> in here before we burn it. You know. We can explain red. We don't have to if we burn the house down. <laughs> Planning on Do burning the house that down, that you could blame uh, Red on the woman. Who's saying that? Jackson. Jackson. I heard a thing or two about blaming people. <laughs> yeah. It would be best if my name was not attached to anything like this whatsoever. You don't think we should find out? Good who thing that you're the only one of the folks in town, Pardon? Matt. You don't well, think your we should find out who the woman is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Unless you get some like ID deep. on her yeah, when you bring her back. Out. That's not a problem. We can check her when we bring her in, see if she's got identification on him, on her. The Was there anything? Woman with the giant hole in her. Uh, I guess we should check just, Red too. Uh, neither one of them has any ID. Yeah. Ran this for an era before driver's licenses. Not oh, everybody that's right. Carried. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe a passport, but that would only be wealthy people. Right. And it's not something you'd be carrying around. Any, like, ring or something that might have an inscription on the uh, inside you know or what? something like that. Scenarios. That was good use of evidence analysis. Yes, go ahead and say, we'll say there was a ring on her hand. Okay. And looking inside of the ring, there is a name on there. And that name is somewhere in this book. Uh, it is McFerter, M-C-P-H-I-R-T-E-R. Whoa, one more time. M-C-P-H... M-C-P-H-I-R-T-E-R. How long... Um, can I also use my evidence collection or my forensics to try to determine how long it appears she has been dead? You can, or the physician could probably do that okay. more naturally. Oh, yeah. uh, in either case, between the two of you, mm -hmm. you're pretty sure that she died last night. And remembering what Red told you about a monster chasing him, mm -hmm. sounds like it might have synced up that she might have gotten caught and the monster stopped chasing him. Um. So that's probably why everybody was out of sorts. I think we should drag her and Red in here and put them in a pile and just torch this place. This, tor this place is ruined anyway. The land still has value. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this house definitely. Yeah. And there was a barn. So... Oh, yeah. And it'll look like Jeez, we'll just barn. smash a and bunch of bottles and make it look. They'll never know who Red was anyway. There's no dental x rays at this time, so they'll just think it, you know. He was a combat veteran. Bunch of drunks. He was more than that, Jackson. He was a soldier. Indeed, he was. But. From the perspective of the law, two drunks came in here and lit themselves and had a horrible accident with the stove. I don't like this at all either, but this is there is no explanation for this. There's no talking this off. And I don't want any it no, we could just like skip town and not even try to sell the property, you know, just burn <laughs> the house down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to help. <laughs> I'm getting on a...
part of Masks. This is an adventure called Edge of Darkness. It was written by an author by the name, I believe, of Keith Herbert, uh, and has been published in several Call of Cthulhu core rule books. It's not in the current one, but it is in the 7th edition starter set. Oh, no, I have that. Uh, and the <laughs> handouts that I But that's most of them, at least. The journal and the most of the clippings are from that. You guys are welcome to keep this as part no, of yeah, the yeah. uh, The next adventure will actually be part of Masks. This was just kind of a lead-in adventure for the characters to meet each other and for them to become familiarized with the methods. Uh, any are questions you on anything? Oh, you got a good yeah, order sure. there. Uh, I would love it if one person agreed to be the Archives. Handout and note <laughs> archivist. Um, the person when they have it a would, locker. It would be uh, no, a good idea for the person to stuff. have a um, binder or um, accordion folder or something because over the course of this campaign, there's going to be a lot of them. Okay. You mean bringing your laptop and stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah whoever has the best handwriting. I don't remember my damn power. <laughs> I, I don't mean just for the notes. I oh. mean for just storing the right. handouts. Yeah, yeah. There's there's I'll bring. I got an accordion thing that I can bring okay. in next time. Yeah, we'll just do right. that. Yeah. Uh, any questions on anything? Did the no. rules generally make sense? Was there anything you uh, where you were left going? How did that work? Why did that work? Um, what's do we have like a higher amount of health than most things, or uh, is that kind of how it works? Kind of do. Okay, yeah, so you got higher than most. Okay, sounds like yeah. seven points of damage. I'm like that would really hurt me, but it wouldn't blow my head yeah. off. So yeah, I was just just as a general thing. Like uh, the other side of it is uh, the way these things react. The things you were shooting were reacting to damage a little differently than you would be. Yeah, I'm both. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. When we lose points in sanity, is that removing from our current pool, or is that actually a permanent? It, it's removing from your current pool. Okay. It can be a long-term. Oh, loss. there can, can be. Go with sanity, you point. need to go through something to recover. It. With stability, you do not. Okay. So stability, you're going to get your stability between now and the next adventure will be recovered. Okay. okay. Uh, and, and as will all of your other. Things. Sanity, okay. on the other hand, once you start losing sanity, you has permanent loss. Those there are ramifications. Okay. I have quite a collection of the Avalon. Hill Anything there. else? Are we good? The Book of right. Foes. Thank you, folks, very much for playing. We will be here again next Tuesday, same bad time, same bad Thank channel. You. No problem. Great. All right, all and there. we still have a few minutes left on the scheduled stream. But uh, I have no idea how to turn that off. Yeah. So well, we, we can start a Lords of Creation game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we could get through the first part of character creation in 15 minutes. So other side of that. <laughs> this is the most important part of the box. Yeah, I have more stuff if you guys want to take wow. a look. I brought that explicitly because he asked last week that he wanted it. But I just brought a box of I, I would love to take a look and see what stuff you've got going on there. Uh, oh, that's... Bye. That's classic. <laughs> I didn't get the alma mater game. Got it. It wasn't like one fifty. That sounds about right. Actually, that sounds low for alma mater. UFO. All right. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, folks. I appreciate you playing. And like I said, I'm looking forward to uh, next week. And if anybody, like, if anybody wants to make any changes to their character, you're free.